the aspect of a sinkhole. Ever seen the sinkhole? You know what a sinkhole is, right? In the streets? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what a sinkhole is. There was this sinkhole that was caused by a water pipe exploding yeah. in the street. Mm-hmm. And, well, and what then happens is it makes a small, small uh, sinkhole, but it keeps expanding and it turns into a little uh, tornado into it. A sinkhole? A sinkhole. What do you call it? A waterfall tornado thing. So does it have a name? I forgot the name, man. It uh, it, isn't it like a riptide? I don't know, man. I don't know the English word. I think it's a riptide. So that happened. And the whole street had to be evacuated. Because it led to the trottoir being really soft. Yeah. And every everybody that stepped on it would sink in. And this all the cool. all the water, all the cars in the streets and shit all sinked in. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So That's crazy. It happened it happened in, in this country. A couple of when months did it ago. A couple of months ago. There's a whole documentary about it. Really? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. You can literally see this shit happen and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's so see. the the firefighters arrive mm-hmm. and they need to close the water pipe. The water li- uh, uh, pipe. The, but yeah, they are the not allowed to. Why not? Because it's down central. Yeah. From uh the but it the, the water doesn't just go to one street. Goes to all this, uh, the neighborhood, so they couldn't close it. And every minute that ca- that passed by, the sinkhole got bigger and the tornado got bigger, and it got so bad that a lot of houses were were on the blink of sinking. Nah, literally. That's crazy. Yeah, it's actually and real. Yeah, like and they had to literally. Yeah, it's literally, bro. You can watch the documentary, <laughs> and they were knocking on the doors and were telling people get out of here, because you're going to die. There were some old people that said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but there were a lot of people that were afraid. It was really sad documentary. Because the uh, the people just lost everything. And in g- imagine, bro, you're not insuranced. That's my nightmare. That's why I'm insuranced for everything. I'm afraid someday something will happen that's nah. so ca- catastrophic. Is this one? No, there's no, no, no water in this. One. It's not that one. I will sh- I will show it to you. It is uh, it was really horrible, man. But yeah, shout out to the firefighters. That's crazy, bro. What the fuck are these sinkholes? Is it like it's, li- it's a water sinkhole. Yeah, th- that's water. Sink- that's that's caused by water. Yeah, you see the corrosion. Uh, you see the erosion. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, but uh, like when the when the ground like becomes soft, becomes soft. Mm-hmm. It's because the sand underneath the, the tiles they get washed away. Ah, that was it. Yeah, that was happening. Yeah, it was really scary. Yeah, so people fun. running out of their houses, and they were like but carrying their pets. Fast, right? They were carrying their pets and shit. Is it, does it go that I fast? I think I would. Li- okay, no, I wouldn't leave my pet. But <laughs> why would you leave uh, your pet? I Do don't you know. You're I not even in a hurry. No, they were in a hurry. It doesn't go. It doesn't go like that fast. Bro, right? I'm gonna show it to you, bro. It was going so quick. I don't in the beginning, so. it was slow because it was just one pl- one street. I think I had enough time. But to the, the, the whole neighborhood, the whole neighborhood, neighborhood had to go. I think I could have stopped it. No, man, bro. This one was really scary. Just swim, bro. And as you, you see some people walking and then it's f- it washes away. Did, and did, they, did anyone die? They just fall. I don't know, man. Talking about people dying, recently there's been like crazy accidents happening for no reason. Example? The the bridge. In, oh, no, that, w- that was not an accident. That was not... Uh, actually, it was an accident. Yeah, yeah. That was not random. What do you mean it's not random? There was this cargo ship that, that collided yeah, to yeah. the bridge. <laughs> that's, that's not random. <laughs> what do you mean that's not random? It's not planned out. <laughs> no, random is somebody no, the cargo ship suddenly stopped served. working. I think well, I didn't I really look into it. Uh. <coughs> but the cargo ship lost control and it went into the bridge, the Baltimore Bridge. But the way right. the bridge collapsed, it was really scary, man. Yeah, 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 six people were working on it. Uh, there were like workers on the bridge. They all pr- presumably are dead. I don't know if they found the bodies yet. And there were like twelve cars, I think, on the bridge itself. It's crazy. Yeah. You know what's crazy too? I, I saw it on TikTok from like this Australian news source. And people in the comments were like, I'm from the city and I didn't even know what happened. How am I finding it out through TikTok, Australian yeah. news and shit? That's crazy actually that people just like not, not putting that shit on the breaking news immediately. No, I think it was on the breaking news, but a lot of people just don't watch the news no more, yeah. which is kind of sad, but I get it too because I also don't watch the news exactly. no more. What else, what else happened? Uh, a Flix bus 
yeah. crashed today. Where? It like flipped over. No, I get what. Where in what country? Uh, Germany. Germany. Five people passed away. I said it. It flipped away. It flipped around. It flipped over. How? On the side. Probably went too fast and like went over to the to the side of the road. Ah. It flipped over like that. Okay. That's sad, man. Yeah, that's really sad. I don't know how five people passed away though. That's a lot of casualties out of fifty two. Maybe out of 52, maybe in children. Five? That's really really crazy. Maybe children. I think people that didn't get fastened to the seatbelt, I think. And just like because of the flip, because you you are like thrown to the side, and that they may, might have hit their like head on the windows and just died. Yeah. On yeah. impact. Yeah, like glass. Glass could have been the reason. Maybe it caught uh, an archery. St- it's called archery or something like that, right? Uh, that called the the veins. Vein. <laughs> yeah, the ar- the archery vein or something. I don't know, man. I uh, people that. get it. The important, the most important vein in your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that happened, and one more thing happened as well. What what happened? What happened? I forgot, man. There was like the shooting happening too, um, and other like news. There's also like positive news. People, uh, one guy, a futurist, said supposedly that um, the people that for now live five more years into the future uh, will get to live for five hundred years. Who is he? Uh, this dude, like futurist, I don't know what he is, but he said like the with the way AI is going right now, a lot of the people are saying this year is the most important year in our history so far that we've had uh, uh, because it's from now on, every single year is going to be the best year for us. Yeah, but a lot of people are also saying it's the end is near this year. Exactly. Because I think I think we might the have the, the red heffler. The what? The red heifer or something. Heifer, heifer, heifer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the s- the, the the cow. Oh, is that true? You know the prophecies of Israel. Um, the cow the will be sacrificed by the Jews, the and ritual. then and then with the ritual, the the Dajjal, aka the, the Antichrist, the Messiah will, will come. And then yeah, the Antichrist, the the Dajjal. Yeah, but they don't believe it's the Antichrist. They believe, they, they the believe it's the Messiah. Yeah. We believe it's the Antichrist mm-hmm. with the Christians as well, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and Christ is gonna come to fight him with his sword and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't so know about the sword, but what? <laughs> <He's there. laughs> Maybe he's gonna lead the armies, right? He said, "I came with the sword." So, is it's it a is it a, is it the real sword? Because f- you know, people also say that the pen is the big. Oh no, no, pen is the sword. No, and shit. Uh, Jesus said in the in the Bible, there's like this quote: him saying, "I didn't just come with the word, but I also came with the sword." So I came with the sword, something like that. Which means I'm He's here. He's gonna some bars. No, no, I think. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I don't know exactly what the quote was, but the meaning of it was, I'm here. I'm not here just to say to talk. I'm also to convince or something. <laughs> I'm standing on business. Oh, basically. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, they found the red heifer or something, which is really rare. But is that true? Spe- 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 yeah, Red. they found it in the States. Yeah, I know. I saw that. And, and they and exported them. A couple. Yeah, I think they were I like I four or too. five. They exported them to uh, Israel. Red Heifer. Is it the Red Heifer? Yeah. But it's not a real red cow, right? Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is. No, no, there's, like, there's like a specific one with, like with no spots and shit. It has like certain criteria it has to meet. Which is really rare to, to achieve. Mm. So, some saying we get to five hundred. Some saying the end is near. Some saying there is no future. Some say there is future. The real yeah, question yeah. is, what are we gonna do about it? You know what I like? What I like people that predict fashion trends. You know people that say this year is the year of the owl, and then everybody. All the crazy crony brands will be have a owl or a butterfly or I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. Those people are really I like those people. But that's easy to predict. Hmm? So everything comes back. Skinny jeans are coming back soon too. No, but they say ne- this year. They literally like say this year this animal and it is that animal. Next year, like is a, next year, skinny jeans are going to be back. But the real question is: Are people doing that because they hear from them? <laughs> no, no. People are. Um, I think in a way, it's it's the hipsters doing it. Yeah, because they they go like, yeah, I don't like this shit anymore because everyone does this, so I gotta change my shit up. So they go back to the old ways. 
because the old waste is not is not good anymore. All hipsters do is recycle old content because no one likes the old shit until it becomes cool again, and then they do the same shit with the old one. So now, like the baggy pants are in. Yeah, yeah. So they're going back to the skinny shit because they're like, "Fuck this baggy shit." Everyone wants to be like me. They do the skinny shit again, and then when everyone wears the skinny shit again, they're like, hey, "Bro, fuck this skinny shit, bro. I'm gonna do the baggy shit again." What are f- fashion items that you miss? Uh, fashion items that I miss. For me, it is the baggy football track suits. I hated those. They were ah, oh bro. They looked so good. I miss. I miss wearing very colorful football shoes with casual outfits. No man, that was a child, a childish thing. <laughs> it was never fashion. It was fashion, bro. It was never. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was <laughs> fashion, bro. <laughs> Only children did it. I I used to do it too when I was a child. So. Yeah, everybody did. Um, let me see. Let me see. What's a fashion item I really miss? For colored glasses. Colored glasses. Mm. I think I, I think that's cool. I always wanted to do it, but I colored could never. lenses or like the frame. The the lenses itself. Okay. Like pink ones and shit. And yeah. That. I think that. I think Loki the MC Hammer pants. Ah. Uh, that should fire. Yeah, they were nice. They were nice. That should looks fire too. Uh, what else? What else? Hmm. What 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 other things you miss? Oh yeah, only the baggy tracksuits, man. Really? Yeah. There's not really something else that I miss, to be honest. Hmm. I think everything else is still kind of accessible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skinny jeans are gone. Um, I'm happy that the bulls shit is over too. What shit? You know, back in 2014, everyone used to wear like Chicago Bulls the items hats? for no reason. Yeah, hats, yeah. jerseys. Yeah, yeah. And as a Bulls fan myself, I hated it. No, I get it. I, get it. I was like, y'all are fake. Yeah. Uh, what did I? Well, there was was there a specific reason for that? It was drippy. Were they a good team that season? No, nah, they year? were really not good. It was it's drippy. Random. It was drippy. Yeah, yeah, it's the Bulls. Yeah, yeah, they're like one of the biggest names in the NBA. You have like three, four big name franchises, yeah. and they're like the one of the f- three, four. And Michael Jordan was o- of course a Bulls player. Yeah. Mm. And they got the iconic. Tin, 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 they do. That's just fire too. Mm. What do I miss, bro? I d- I don't I don't know. I think that was it only. I think jean jackets. I haven't seen those in a while. Denim jackets. Yeah. Um, they're still accessible. Yeah, but uh, they're not really. You know what? That's cool. I want to change my drip to like a uh, old man drip. I don't want. I want to wear like trench coats, coats and shit. That's fire. And like the. The hat. The you know what the a fedora. I mean, I don't know what's called. Like what the old. That's a fedora. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That shit. Hats don't look nice. I won't be here. able because my hair is too long now. It won't look nice. I need yeah, to go bald. I think it will look nice. Yeah, a bit long hair now, man. You, you need to use some minoxidil. Uh, <laughs> I might start on it, man. Let me see. No, that's about it, man. I, d- I don't think anything else. If I use minoxidil only on my mustache, my mustache only get yeah. thick. Yeah. I might, I might do that, bro. <laughs> I just want a th- thick mustache. That's fine. Because I've never seen a Somali guy with a thick mustache. <laughs> I need to be the first one. That's actually... That's <laughs> <laughs> there is. <laughs> nah, uh, I don't think there's anything else I miss, man. Talking about the Chicago Bulls song and songs in general, have you been following the, the Kendrick Lamar diss track? This track? The, the Kendrick Lamar song was fire. Yeah. But I didn't listen to the album. I don't know the song of uh, Metro, uh, from a Future, Future and stuff. And apparently Future and Drake are fighting Beefing, over a girl, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is also hella random. So apparently what happened, supposedly, from what I've gathered around, is Future fucked with his OnlyFans girl. Yeah. And Drake also fucked with his OnlyFans girl. Mm-hmm. But Future talked shit about Drake to the girl, mm-hmm. supposedly. And girl, the girl told that to Drake. Mm-hmm. And Drake got his feelings, mm-hmm. but I feel like, uh, or or it's the other way around, that's possible too. Uh, but basically, because of that, they fell apart. And apparently, also what happened is, uh, you know the song Tony Montana from Future. So Future wanted to do a video clip for that song, and Drake hopped onto the song as well for the remix. 
So when he was doing the future, the, the video clip, a lot of people from Atlanta, where Future is from, were like, hey, there's a lot of Atlanta rappers that want to be in the video clip, but Drake doesn't want to be in the video clip. You could have just given the, the remix to him, to like one of the yeah. Atlanta artists. And Future gave it to Drake, and Drake didn't want to hop onto the to the thing. So Future kind of like... Felt betrayed. Uh, Yeah, in a way. He was like, ah, that's, that's like, uh, bitch, move. Mm. But yeah, apparently... The beef has been going on for a while now. Yeah. It's not new. But um, Future's verse is you a uh, word I cannot say, number one fan, dog. Talking about Drake. Sneak dissing, I don't understand, dog. Pillow talking, acting like a fed dog. So let me see. There are rumors about Drake and Future having a feud over a girl. Maybe Drake took Future's girl or something. Uh, Future keeps saying dog. It could be clear reference to Drake's latest album for all the dogs. I think that's a reach. And yeah, so it's been going on for a while. He's saying, I don't need another fake friend. Can't be about a hoe because we're sharing in your feelings. Why are you playing? It's literally a Drake, this. Yeah. In your feelings is a song. Exactly. Fake friends is a song of Drake. So yeah. Uh, and then he's talking about how he gave the girl back shots while she was laying down. <laughs> So that's the that's the first song of the album. Yeah. And the meme was going on that Metro Boomin was beefing with Drake, which is true. Yeah. Because Metro Boomin, do you know the whole situation? No. Metro Boomin lost to the Grammys from Drake, her yeah. loss. And Metro Boomin said, you know, I know Drake had a great album, but mine was better. This shows that the Grammys are fake. And, you know, I end up, I end up about this shit. Yeah, yeah. He just said that. And I was like, okay, this is funny, you know. But Drake gets all in his feelings. And then he posted like this album a playlist of Twenty One Savage and Metro Boomin and Twenty One Savage make a lot of songs together, right? Yeah, yeah. They like m- grow up together, or like in the in the scene. And he like blurred out the Metro Boomin with like emojis, <laughs> 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 like the most Drake thing to ever yeah. do, you know. So that happened. Metro Boomin and this and that uh, uh, are like beefing, and the meme was going on to like future when when he has to shoot Drake because he doesn't because uh, Metro Boomin. Uh, was what was the tagline again? Uh, if young Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah, yeah. That's future, right? Yeah. So like, uh, future having to shoot, shoot Drake, and he's like in his tears and his eyes and shit. So this album is called "We Don't Trust You," and immediately that was like, what is this about? Yeah. And the first song he keeps saying, "If young Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you." He keeps repeating that, and then he goes into the verse. So that's a clear diss track yeah. to Drake, you know. So it continues. Look like this hella funny, man. It's, ha- it's hella funny. It's like 40 year old man beefing yeah. for over a 40 OnlyFans year old girl. millionaires. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> beefing over OnlyFans girl. That's, that's the funniest shit, bro. And yeah. the girl's not even all that. Have you seen the girl? Yeah, I've seen her. So a couple downs, a uh, couple tracks further. Like That comes up. <laughs> like That is a fire Maybe song. Maybe she knows Victoria's Secret. <laughs> <laughs> so Like That is a, is a great song. It's fire, actually. Yeah. I've, I've listened to it. Future goes off on it. And then Kendrick comes in. And. He disses J. Cole yeah. and Drake. I don't understand the beef with from Kendrick's part. I, uh, Why does he hate them? Why is he beefing them? So Kendrick and Drake have a beef for a while. And Kendrick yeah. hates Drake. Yeah. Because Drake also is, has a ghostwriter. Yeah. So apparently the beef between Kendrick and Drake also uh, and J. Cole goes a while back. Because back in 2014, 15, 16, Kendrick was on the song from Big Sean called yeah. Control. And on Control, it it, bro- it broke the whole scene. I don't know if you have ever heard of it, Control verse. So the Control verse is... Uh, oh, this is YouTube. I don't want to see the YouTube ver- verse. Hmm. Is it here? Is the actual verse here, man? Let me look. Kendrick Lamar. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. He actually couldn't see it. Okay. No, but I probably heard the song. Okay, okay. So he said um, about who's the best MC: Kendrick, Jigga, and Nas, Eminem, Andre 3K. The rest of y'all, new blank, just new blank. Don't get involved. And I ain't rocking no more designer shit. White tees and Nike Cortez. This red Corvette's anonymous. I'm usually homeboys with the same blank. I'm rhyming with, but this is hip hop. And then blank should know what time it is. And that goes for Jermaine Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mills, 
ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J Electron, Tyler, Mac Miller. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you, blank. So, so he he made that song. Yeah. What happened is it broke the shit because yeah. he was like homeboys with everyone. So yeah. all of them were like, hey, what is this about? Yeah. But he was, uh, this was his second year in the... Did like, he explain it, why he said it? Reason for he it? Ju- he just says he's the best. Ah, okay. Pretty much, you know? It's like ego thing. Yeah, and he said, and, but he also like, it's competition. He's like, you know, yeah. I don't care who you are. Yeah. I'm here to murder you, bro. Yeah. And this is not even his song. This is Big Sean's song. Yeah. So, so wait, he even this Big Sean in Big Sean's song? Yeah. Okay. I respect that. So Big Sean removed this verse. Was it, but was it first online and then people saw No, nah, he removed this verse and then it leaked. Ah, uh, okay. And then people were like, you leaked that, you removed that shit because you got bodied on your own song. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, nah, it was creative differences, this and that. So Kendrick went crazy again. He's like, bro, you removed yeah. my shit. And when it, when it leaked, internet broke loose. He's like, hey, what is Kendrick saying? People asked Drake. Drake was like, yeah, I don't know what he's saying. But if he's about that, then make sure I'm about that too. Like some shit like that. <laughs> Such a trick he's saying for no reason. You see this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And J. Cole and he were going to make an album together. Yeah. So Drake, J. Cole uh, said like, hey, this and that. So he like put a, put a little reference to the diss track itself. Being like, hey, if, if, you know, if, one, if people want to shoot, I got ammo to shoot. This and that, you know. So J. Cole dissed him back then as well. So throughout the years... They were like cool because they were still going to make an album together. But J. Cole still referenced that shit a couple of times afterwards. I feel like he just wasn't over that, you know? Especially because J. Cole like produced a couple of songs for him and this and that. And like he got him popping to a certain level as well. So basically what what happens is time goes by and uh, J. Cole keeps sneak this in him. I literally watched like a one hour video about it. And J. Cole keeps sneak this in him on so many songs. Yeah. For no reason, bro. He keeps. He even like released a song that, that was actually fired that I didn't know what it was what it was about, and apparently he dissed him on that shit too. Yeah. And it went so far that like they were on the same song, and Drake and J Cole got bodied on the same song. And from that point on, the only time that J Cole was on a song with Kendrick was when Kendrick was singing on the song and not rapping on the song. Yeah. So that says to me that J Cole had issues with Kendrick out rapping him on his own songs. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't want that anymore. Because on the joint album, they had like a couple of songs. And when Kendrick released those songs, like uh, on live shows and this and that, people mm. were like, yo, Kendrick's verse is way better. Yeah. So the album never got made to a point where at this point, uh, this other producer got them both on a track, but didn't tell them that the other guy was on the track. Yeah. So that they wouldn't know what to do. So Kendrick was singing and J. Cole was rapping like crazy. Yeah. And they were like, bro, I, I didn't know J. Cole was on the rap song because I would have done better. You know yeah. what I mean? So J. Cole, from that point on, was like, I out him on the song, this and that. It's just, you know, I'm the best. It's like he had a one-up. Yeah. So also at, at, in some song, he was like, uh, 28th uh, January, this is his birthday. And another MC, Rakim, is also b- burned on 28th of January. And he calls himself the God MC. So mm-hmm. at the end of the song, he's like, uh, that he's better than Aubrey, better than Kendrick. And that Cole is the best, that Cole is the God. Because they have the same birthday, you know? Cole is the God MC. So that happened. So J. Cole kept going at it for no reason. And uh, Kendrick even like appeared on a joint like uh, like Ken- J. Cole's label song. Everything was going great. To till J- Drake and J. Cole made the song together. The first person shooter. Mm-hmm. So in the song, J. Cole says like, you know, Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole, the, the big three. The big three, yeah. yeah. And at the same time, throughout the rest of the song, they are not mentioning him once, and everything is about them too. Yeah. So in a way, J. Cole is saying, he even said like, the Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake. Yeah. As in, Drake and me are the best. Yeah. And Kendrick is like the third guy. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's what it sounds like, you know? Everything sounds like that, um, it's them two at the top, and he's the third guy. Yeah. On everything, literally. And Drake and J. Cole hated on Kendrick for making conscious songs. They were like, oh, you're just making conscious songs to sell more. Yeah. So what happens? Kendrick came back out of him. nowhere. And he said, let me get to the, to the song again. And Kendrick's verse. Uh, so uh, I choose violence, okay? 
Okay, let's get it. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. I think that he's talking about J. Cole. Yes. Because J. Cole is talking about how he's the best, this and that. He's like, okay, you know what? If you're the best, show me that you're the best, you know? And he's saying he's clicking up, but cannot be legit. So, you know, you're talking all this smack. I'm not even replying to you. But, you know, you're not even a problem, bro. Drake is a bigger artist than you. And I'm a better rapper than you. That's pretty much what he's saying. Fuck sneak dissing. Exactly. Because he was sneak dis- He kept sneak dissing for no reason. And then I hope I hope they came up with three switches. And he said, um, motherfuck the big three. Blank is just big me. Yeah. AKA like, I'm, I'm the, the best. best. I'm the best here. And then he went at, at Drake saying, Prince outlived Mike Jack. <laughs> and I called him a bum. And that his uh, best work is the light pack. And saying that for all your dogs is getting buried. Um, and that it's going to Pet Cemetery. Okay, his album is trash. Yeah. And it's dying. And the one of the funniest thing about this album too, bro, is it's as if like the the fucking civil war started. Yeah. Because Metro Boomin tweeted out after this album came out saying, it's time to pick a side and stick with it. And Rick Ross unfollowed Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Ross is one of the funniest people. Rick Ross ever. unfollowed Drake. Nav unfollowed Drake. And Drake dissed Nav out of everyone first. Nav is like old man, right? No, Nav is like the Indian boy. Oh, the, that Nav? Yeah. I th- I th- I that's, that's Nas. Nas, yeah. I thought it was Nas. Nah, the Indian boy. He dissed why? him out why, of everyone. Why? This <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? What did he do, bro? He unfollowed him. Oh, yeah, he says homies is Metro Pumi. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I get it. Shout out to Nev, man. But I, I like his songs. So people were like, bro, you got the, I saw the funniest video ever. It's like the David Dobrik video yeah. of them in a the car. And the, you know the fat guy from the group, yeah. right? He was in the back seat. And David Dobrik was driving like crazy. And the guy pulled over to the side like, bro, you're crazy. You're dri- driving like crazy. And out of nowhere, he kept calling the guy in the back seat a fat fuck. Aren't you seeing where you're yeah, looking yeah, out yeah. for and shit? That was fake. But I oh really? Yeah, that was fake. yeah, yeah. People were like Drake, Drake going after Kendrick, yeah, yeah. and you see Nav in the back seat. And I was like <laughs> laughing my ass off, bro. Shout to Nav, man. Nah, he's also uh, Drake's reply. Drake already replied in his concert. He was like, "Tonight, I'm gonna feel like you guys when you guys leave out of here. Like nobody can fuck with me." And people were like, bro, why are you giving an emotional speech? You go make some rap songs. And people were like, bro, waiting for his ghostwriter to write some raps yeah, for him. Yeah. Shit. Nah, it's a, you know what it's I a love? funny beef. I love that every time there's like something going on, there's a RDC meme for it. Bro. It's bro I saw the one that, that they're like sitting and says, hey, you have to call him gay now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only option. <laughs> that shit was hilarious, bro. That was so bro. funny, man. Uh, <coughs> I love RDC, you gotta man. call him gay or something, bro. Yeah. That shit. I saw that shit. I was like, cry. I was in tears, bro. That shit's hilarious. Nah, it's it's also like I saw like the meme. You know, like the guy from the jail being woken up. Yeah. I saw the one like J Cole waking up jet to write a baby Kim this track and shit. Yeah. Dude, I was dying. That shit's hilarious, but, bro. Uh, I haven't I haven't really listened to the whole album, so. Uh, I listened to the entire album. It's a good album, man. Future goes a, off. But the thing is, I'm not a big fan of Future. As Future an rapped really good, man. I, I wasn't a fa- big fan of Future either until I saw him live. And I was like, this is actually fire. You kind of... Uh, okay. uh, live, he's really good, bro. Okay. I've never seen him live. So. I saw him You've also seen Kendrick live. Have you seen Drake live? I've not seen Drake live. I got to say one thing, though. Yeah. Kendrick was the best experience, live experience that I've ever had. I believe it. And that's crazy, bro. Because usually when when you get out of the concert, you want to listen to the songs again. Yeah. Because you want to reminisce. But after the concert, I didn't want to listen to Kendrick anymore. I was like, I'm retiring from this shit. Yeah. That's how good it was, bro. It was really, really good. I believe it, man. Kendrick's a good artist. Man. I like Kendrick. But yeah, the, I didn't even understand the whole uh, drama part of it. But yeah, now I get it. And hopefully, Drake's Ghost Riders do a good job. You know, you can have a part two, maybe yeah. even part three. Um, Metro Booming is just funny, bro. I saw this meme too of a Metro Booming going, uh, liking this tweet. Metro Booming himself liked this tweet. Was the was I don't get the meme. It's like Do Flamingo. Nah, it's like the dude with the glasses, like scheming. You only see the glasses, right? Uh, the, 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 the problem is that I know who that character is. Oh, really? That's why I didn't get it. Oh, who is it? <laughs> this Doflamingo is a villain of uh, 
Well, it's a horrible villain. One of the best villains of One Piece. Oh, it's called Do Flamingo. Okay. Nah, like and he's also eyes, right? he schemes always. Yeah, he schemes. Yeah. So it's like Metro when K Dot sent send his verse back. Yeah. Like I'm, I know this he's is about to like, kill, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was hilarious, bro. And the funniest thing, bro, is the weekend also has beef with Drake. Yeah, that's the one I know. And the weekend said, I'm, "I will never do a feature anymore unless it's with Daft Punk." And this album, the the, the Drake this track album, he he made a feature. On oh, he was on it. <laughs> 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 but he's not the weekend no more. He's now Aubrey. He changed his name. Eh? Really? You know, did you oh, no, it's not Aubrey, Aubrey, right? It's yeah. Abel. Of Abel, that was yeah, it. Yeah. Was. Who's Aubrey? Was it Drake? Drake. Yeah, he changed his name a year ago. I was like, I'm done with the weekend. We like, we like well, I also get but his, older. Uh, but his Spotify is still called the weekend. Uh, maybe he needs to update that later. Nah, you can do that, right? Uh, if I'm correct, he changed his name. Name. He was like, I'm done with the weekend, which I same as us, because we're changing our name too. Did he? Nah, he's still called the weekend. Maybe after his concert. Yeah, but after this episode, know. for the listeners that consistently tune in, we change our name. We change our name. We're not the consistently inconsistent anymore. We're the Actually, I <laughs> <laughs> we're consistently yeah, inconsistent. Yeah. <laughs> I think the 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 part was unnecessary. Really, it looks dope. It looks dope, but it's unnecessary. It's not really practical on social media yeah. text and stuff. And we need to have a shorter version, bro. I had TCI, but now we can't even use TCI. Yeah, CI. I see. No, see, CI is one slide. I w- I won't let it slide. I think our short thing will still be TCI. Because it doesn't really have to have the full name. Hmm. Do you do you know uh, what RDC f- RDC f- stands for? RDC. It's uh, it's RDC World. Yeah, I know. I don't you know uh, what the RDC stands for? I used to know it, but I don't know it anymore. It's Real Dreamers Chase. Or I, like I knew it was something real. like that. Yeah, it's Real dra- Dreamers Chase or something. Something like that. The real dream chasers, maybe. I don't know. But I like RDC. RDC are my second sp- top two all time online uh, funny content creators, like the sketch makers. They're top two. Who's number Bro, one? Number one? Ah, the hard one. I, I, I have my number one. Who's your number one? Lenore. Uh, no, no, Lenar, uh, no, nah, this. Lenar is. Lenar was good, but I, I wouldn't get him above RDC. He used to be my number RDC. one. At RDC this point, at this point, RDC is number one, though. Yeah. No, no. For now, I would say RDC too, because I watch a UK creator more. Mm. It's called App Night, something like that. He does like uh, personas. Lost was so funny. Um, I would say maybe he is my number one now. Drewski can be funny too. Drewski is hilarious. I like Drewski too, man. Drewski got in shape. I saw literally <laughs> into a podcast with him a couple of weeks ago. He was not really in shape. He's getting in shape. Maybe he w- lost a w- uh, some weight. I could believe that. Pe- well, the women were simping all over Drewski. That's he's crazy. handsome. He's handsome. He's definitely handsome. He's not an ugly brother, man. Who is an ugly brother that's that's a content creator? Uh the the friend of Ed Ross who's getting cooked. Neon. No, no, not Neon. Uh I don't I don't know his name. Have you seen the neon dude with the long hair getting cancelled on kick? No. The one that I got child pornography. Omar. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, I seen the documentary. Yeah. That's crazy too, man. That documentary was wild, bro. I just shout out to the guy that made the chicken winner or something. Chicken dicken chicken <laughs> w- chicken say so his channel is called chicken something. Shout out to him, man. Uh, I know He I made a really good video, man. Yeah. Really like he w- he knew all the stuff. For of the platform and stuff, so a lot exactly. of insights. So shout out to him. Really good video. Did they finally ban the Omar guy? Because they didn't ban him after the video, huh? For your knowledge. Really? Yeah, bro. The fucking kick owner was in his chat, sp- uh, gifting him subs and shit. No way. Yeah, 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 you haven't watched the documentary. I, I haven't finished it. I was watching. Yeah. It. His name is something about chickens. Yeah, that was it. Shout out to him. I know him from uh, the magic videos, right? I know him from Omigo videos. Yeah, exactly, from, the, from the magic videos, yeah, going yeah. and disappearing and shit. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. We gotta do Omigo videos on Kick 2. Yeah. But not do the... Bro, it's so stupid, bro. It's like... The, the fact that the dude just answers the call is like, Hello, tits. It's like... Yeah, yeah. 
that's so, bro, the funniest, so strange. The craziest part, bro, I, I, I looked at the comments like, crazy that he has the Quran in the background. And I was like, let me look at the picture. You see like the fucking giant ass picture. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wild man, wait. Shout out to this dude, though. Shout out to this dude. Some chicken. So, uh, something again? about chickens. Something about chickens. I'm, I'm going to give him a subscribe. Yeah, I subscribe to him too, man. Okay, okay. I like creators like that, man. I like creators that make a good, thought, well thought, insightful videos talking about topics. Yeah, and too. those people deserve everything in life. And the guy that makes Pain Guy Explains, or the Pain Guy's channel called, I like him too. You know what I also like, bro? The, the Shout out to the whole Pain family, actually. There's a there's a YouTube guy that's called Orewa Yasuke, mm-hmm. and he replicates the whole al- albums just randomly, out of like replicates as in. He, makes he sings the whole st- album at like 3 a.m. Cover, you mean? Yeah. No, 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 no. Because he doesn't look at the lyrics. Oh, he just plays the instrumental. No. He just raps it without knowing the lyrics from what he remembers. It. Oh, okay. And it's actually like, I sometimes listen to it when I have nothing to do, you know, while I'm working and shit. Oh, yeah. Instead of listening to the actual songs. And it sound like, sometimes it's funny. I don't know. Either. Sometimes he actually kills that shit. I'm like, damn, bro. How the fuck do you remember all this shit, you know? You know, you know who I like? Also... This content when I'm uh, that I have on the background there's this guy that does stuff. For example, he will read a whole book in one sitting, and he will just sit that he read the whole book, which is actually random that I watch that. But I don't know. I, I kind of appreciate the effort put in it. And he re- really, yeah, he just sits and he reads the whole book. This guy also makes the whole entire song with his voice. So also the instrumentals. Yeah, that, that one is really impressive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I know the guy. This one, for example. I think I know the guy you mean. It's not his voice, right? It's not the guy. I thought you meant like the a cappella guy. So this is a cappella guy. He's white. The real a cappella guy is white. If you know what I'm talking about. He used to do like the Mario, Zelda and stuff. Game music. I don't know who that is, bro. And all the uh, other stuff. A beatboxer? Yeah. No, no, this is different. No, not beatboxing. He was doing everything. He made the whole instruments and the song. He would do everything. Oh, that's crazy. But I he, know was like that. he was doing that 10 years ago, maybe now. So I don't know if he's retired. Shout out to him, too. Uh, shout out to all great creators. YouTubers, man. You know, you, know, you know what I do hate? What do you hate? This is, this is completely off topic. But I hate Marvel's new game, man. What's the Marvel new game? They just recreated Overwatch with Marvel creators. And I was like, shit. It's called Overwatch? Is it Overwatch? It's or called Marvel, or Marvel Marvel Rivals. Okay. And it's literally Overwatch. But nah. Um, there's really there good <coughs> there, are, there are really good creators. I, I love to watch the, the crime investigation shit mm-hmm. from GCS. Uh, they have like two hour videos of anal- analysis. GCS cr- criminal psychology. That's what yeah, it's called. Yeah, I, I followed that one too. Yeah. That one's nice. There's another one with the wolf. I forgot the the wolf shit. Um, Honkai Star Rail commercials, of course. This is not sponsored by by them. Mm. Explore with us as well. They have a great thing as well. Explore with us. Explore with us. There's like a wolf, and GCS criminal psychology. I love to watch those. Mm-hmm. But when when you work and you see that shit. It makes you feel like you're actually normal instead of a psychopath. Oh, no. I just watch it too because I'm curious about what people do in their free time. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. I think you're a psychopath. No, I'm just curious. Like, why the fuck would you do that? The reasons behind it and stuff. I'm, c- I'm curious as to like how, how you, how do you get away with it? Oh, no. I'm not curious about that part. No, I'm, I'm like, curious, like, let's let's say I was in, the, in this situation, right? Yeah. What would I be doing? Like, if, if I sit, sit like this apparently, I'm already red flagged. <laughs> no, that's... I think that's a little bit extreme. No, no, it's literally like that. Because apparently when you talk to the people, uh, to the directors, no, to the detectives like that, it means that you're closing yourself off from them and that means that you're hiding something. Oh, when you're like in an interview. I thought when when I'm chilling in my room and I sit like that. No, 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 no. When when they're interviewing you for some stuff and you sit like this, they will think automatically. Because sometimes I sit like that for no reason, you know? And apparently if if you sit like that during like an interview, it means that you're closing yourself off from them. And not only in those type of situations, but like, in daily life situations, you can apply the logic mm-hmm. to yourself, you know? If, if, imagine you ever have to, like, do a business deal. And you can, like, know how to be more persuasive instead yeah. of closed off. Yeah. 
But I think there are a lot of books for that. Yeah, but it's 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 actually like seeing it happen live is different. You know what I mean? In books, you read no. it. That's 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 a good point. But like seeing it in, in the practice, you see the people you doing will it. Never, if you experience something, you will never forget it exactly. compared to reading it. Yeah, yeah. And so that that's really nice. And some sometimes some some things are really really fucked up. There was some a people you mean? Case. Yeah, some people. There was a specific case that like it really hurt me. Why I even started talking Dutch because it really yeah. hurt me. It was it was so fucked up, bro. I I hate when kids get hurt. No, I get that. I get it. I think uh, a lot of people do. I think I hope everybody does, but yeah, it was the specific one. This dude was done with his wife because his wife was like trying to. She was like doing her best, you know. She was trying to make like a living with like staying at home, doing this and that. And I think she had like an accident or whatever, and the dude kept recording himself going to the mountains, having like a shelter, and then he kept saying like shit, like yeah, I, I really hate my wife. She's not doing anything in her life, this and that. And on the other side, you see her wife recording herself, saying, like, yeah, I'm finally doing this. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm going to show him this. And, like, she's really, like, happy to show him yeah. like, what, what she's going to be doing. That she got, like, a whole plan. And he, the only thing he thinks is, like, shit, she's ruining my life. This literally has no meaning. And he killed his wife and his kid. What did the kid do? Um, it's a part of the wife. It made it look like an accident. That's, that's fucked, man. It's really fucked. Shit like that, bro. When you when you, and for me, the, the what hit me was like the seeing the wife, like her POV, because yeah. she kept filming herself too, doing like the stuff, seeing what that she was really happy and passionate about something, and he did not see any of that, and the only thing he knew was hatred for some reason, you know. That's like the, you see, like shit. Yeah. That's really sad. That's really really sad. Nah, shit like that, man. And uh, I also like the conspiracy stuff. Yeah, I I, I love watching Nexpo like a conspiracy youtuber he has like two three hour of creepy conspiracy videos i, li- I love conspiracies like i told you you went to like d- the reddit I, right? d- I discovered reddit after 23 years on earth i decided to give reddit a chance and uh why did nobody t- tell me earlier to get on reddit man i've been enjoying reddit for the past five days i think now i, I mean think it's a stigma. daily what do you mean stigma well the stigma around it that i didn't yeah. want to that people are like you no, don't want to be a redditor. No, for me, it, it looks really confusing. It is really confusing, but I think at the same time, the memes are like, the people that go on Reddit have no lives. Yeah. yeah. But it's actually funny. And Quora really is also really funny. I love going on Quora. Quora, I get I, I Sometimes I do Quora too. But Reddit, I'm finally getting into it. I'm really understanding how it works. And all the, like, the, there are so many communities and platforms to actually learn about stuff and shit that I really enjoy. And all the stuff that are really entertaining... And the conspiracy one is also one of the most entertaining stuff ever, man. And uh, for example, yesterday I was on it for like two hours and I got into this loop of like the P. Diddy case that's going on. Yeah. And it was so hilarious, man. Because there are a lot of people that are genuinely trying to make some crazy wild links and stuff. But there are a lot of trolls too. They're just your random stuff. Like what? Uh... But I don't know much about the P Diddy case because yeah, yeah. I only know like he got raided for sex trafficking. Supposedly, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, apparently he had shit to do with the Epstein Islands and stuff. And really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because there crazy. was like somebody that was on the Epstein Island that was that works for him or something, or like a girl that was on the island that was kidnapped or, or trafficked, was traveling with him and stuff. So uh, some crazy stuff like that, and people were making a lot of links, and at some point even I kind of started to believe it. <laughs> And there was like this guy that kept like linking P Diddy with all these famous people, and they all had a story on how they were like in this business of child trafficking shit. There was a picture with Obama, like shit, man. If Obama was into this, then I was uh, in the picture with P-Diddy's Obama and like George Clooney on the vote. Um, no, no, I haven't seen that. So there's like hundred pictures of P Diddy with famous people and stuff. I'm like, bro, how did he meet all these people and shit? That's really wild. And then after all the face, I realized, bro, this motherfucker is famous. Of course, he's going to meet other famous people. <laughs> then I started laughing. And then I would just keep really reading the stories. And they were like this. Uh, apparently, he's on. He's he's fleeing the country or something like that now. He's uh, they're looking for him because the FBI or something raided his house uh, two days ago now uh, to su- uh, to search for proof and stuff. And he was on there. And then there's like this. Uh, t- how do you say it? Plane agenda stuff see where his plane like is plane going charts, like yeah, yeah. The flying charts yeah th- so this is his jet it, w- it goes there it goes there 
and you see it going to the Bermuda Triangle and suddenly disappear. Nah, People are like, yeah, there's something there. We always knew there was something there. You're lying, bro. Yeah, yeah, I was serious, I was serious, bro. And there are some people in the comments were like, nah, you're stupid. He just dropped the hot box in there. You know, like the planes have like yeah. this black box or something called? That he just dropped it in there. Like they did with the MH17 or something. Like the Dutch. Three, uh, MH370. MH yeah, the Malaysian Airlines. Yeah, that yeah shit. exactly. Like this is the same thing they did there. Look at this shit. shit. So there are people are linking the most random stuff. And then some, s- some random driver got into it because he drove Obama one day. And they were like, yeah, he drove Obama, but he's also related to PDD and shit. And, uh, and 50 Cent just trolling everything. 50 Cent is the, was the funniest part. Why? Uh, on Instagram, he keeps like p- posting pictures. They're like Is this picture of like um, uh, milk, milk uh, carton. Carton. It's like missing person and it's JC. And he says, since the PDD, we haven't seen this brother. He's missing and stuff. And then he was like, <laughs> I'm going to make <laughs> a. <laughs> yeah, look at the l- other one. He said, I'm making a new documentary at the documentary. <laughs> it's called. Did Here he do is it? JC, last reported scene waving at Puffy uh, Jet. Yeah. No. And the documentary is called. Did he do it? <laughs> Fitzcent is hilarious, man. Fitzcent is one of the funniest people on earth, man. He knows how to meme stuff. He's a good troll, man. I like, I, lo- I love that. <laughs> See, right, yeah, did, he did he do it? It's such a funny name, too, man. <laughs> this did he this do is it? gonna break records when this <laughs> drops. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's so hilarious, man. But uh, the plane thing was really funny, man. That's just hilarious, bro. Nah. The, 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 the people are saying that 50, 50 Cent is into it or he's just like trolling about it? He's trolling. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, now that P. Diddy is getting arrested and people are looking for him, where's Jay-Z, bro? Bro, I've s- <laughs> I, I seen that shit too because it was like Jay-Z and, 50, uh, and Diddy be looking like best friends on this picture yeah. and they're, they're like vibing and hanging out and shit. They are best friends. Really? Right? Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. I saw like a meme saying Tupac coming back from the grave to testify at uh, yeah. as, as uh, court and shit. <laughs> Ah, that that shit was hilarious. And people linking all this to Cat K- Williams again, because at the beginning of this year or uh, end of last year, he had he did the interview with Shannon Sharp, right? He was like twenty twenty four. A lot of famous people are going, go uh, going to get punished. It's done with all these famous people. And now people are saying, yeah, he was spitting. You know, everything is linking, and they're like, okay, did if that was William Snitch. He knows something we don't know. Cat Williams also said, did he try to fuck him four times? <laughs> <laughs> he literally said that. We all say this, said, this motherfucker is crazy. <laughs> I think he was on the... He, he was knew that the he was the truth. <laughs> <laughs> he was the truth. He knew it. He knew it, man. Imagine you you, you say that p- someone tried to fuck you four times and no one believes you until you see the, the, the clips of him fucking Meek Mill. There's no feud of him fucking Meek Mill, right? There's audio. Oh, that's wild. Have you heard it? No, no, I don't want to hear it. Bro. I'm gonna, I'm, uh, you're going to hear it right now, bro. It was also funny. Uh, how does Tyla, you know Tyla? The yeah, yeah. The, s- the singer, she was on Kai Sh- uh, Kai Sinat stream, and he asked her out. Like, what, do really? you want to go? Yeah, do you want to go on a date with me? And I think he did it for content, of course, because yeah. he's a content creator. But he did it in, like, a serious way. Yeah, and she said? She said, no, no, we're just friends, something like that. Yeah. And... Mia Khalifa replied on it. Same. Just like these mediocre streamers or something think they're entitled to stuff and shit. And then your age <laughs> replied to her with a picture of her getting fucked by two black dudes. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I started to laugh, man. Your age, is cra- yeah, yeah, your age is crazy, man. Your age has... Sh- your age Twitter game is probably the best on earth. Bro, He's you hilarious on uh, Twitter. You still seen your age back when, back when she, he was uh, in the 2K community. Face your rage. Yeah, he joined Face. You didn't know that last year. When the fuck did he join Face, bro? When he joined Kick, literally a co- a week or something after he joined Kick, he joined That's Face. That's crazy. I did not know. He that, even bro. did like whole Face stream for t- a couple of days, that he was doing a lot of random stuff in uh, in this warehouse. Really? Yeah, but yes, Face been signing everybody. It wouldn't surprise me if he was Face in a couple of weeks. So did uh, me and Khalifa delete the? I think she deleted the tweet. Uh, it could be. He he, he really shielded her big time, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, he, she really deleted it. Cyberbullying. Because Tyler was like on, on the stream not even like a couple of days ago, right? Yeah. 
couple days. Uh, nah, days like before. everything. There, I'm looking at 18th of March and nothing is there, bro. Shout out, shout out to Kai Sanad. Shout out to Kai Sanad. Be doing really well, man. Yeah, it's also enjoyable. But uh, this, is the, this is the audio of me getting clapped. How do we know? I don't know how. I don't know both their voices because I never listened to their songs. Like all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off like I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. Like I smoke and I had my own weed, but like everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the fucking door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going Who's on. this? But I just heard balls slapping against ass cheeks. I heard <laughs> niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas being like, yeah, daddy. daddy when, when, I, when, when he started calling, all that daddy this and daddy that. And then I heard some hollering and struggling like, yeah, I kept the phone there and I recorded all that shit because I was like, this nigga did he bitch. So I'm finna, finna put the squeeze on and give me a couple dollars and just say, you know what I'm saying? Just nobody believed that that was. Wow, okay. He's, tra- he's a dickhead too because he was trying to get money. And at the end he's like, at least, uh, can at least someone, someone give me some money now? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. Bro uh, was still was hustling. <laughs> he was actually hustling, bro. <laughs> I don't think that I would. Do, I don't know what I would have been doing in that situation. I think I would just run out of the house. I, I wouldn't, bro. Did he has a crazy imagine, story too? Imagine you know if Cuddy, you get right? caught, you're dead. You know Kid Cudi, right? Yeah. I, I think this this was a story. I think this was the story, but Kid Cudi fucked with Diddy's baby mama, mm-hmm. and he blew up Kid Cudi's car. Okay. But Kid Cudi was like lucky not to be in it. Oh yeah, that one I know. Yeah. yeah, he tried. He tried to like kill Kid Cudi, literally. Yeah. But he tried to kill a lot of people. There's like he was also on the conspiracy uh, yeah. page. Really? Who yeah. else did he try to kill? I don't remember, bro. I read so much, man. There were a lot of cases, and that he's like really afraid to walk on the streets and stuff. He's really paranoid. People say. Did a he? Of, yeah, a lot of famous people that may, that that know him say he's really paranoid. He's uh, he's afraid to walk on streets alone and stuff like that. Oh, interesting. So, because he has a lot of enemies, bro. Let's be honest. He bro. does. He so I, I think even the son is an enemy. This, uh, this, uh, I won't be able to live like that, man. Really paranoid. Think, uh, overthinking uh, uh, you everything. You get what's coming for you, bro. Yeah. Look at the son. But he's fucking rich, so maybe I need to He fucked his son's uh, girlfriend. That is not that b- deep, man. He got together with her. Oh, that's really deep. And he got married to her, I think. That's deep. That's really that's deep. That's really deep. Yeah. That's crazy. <sighs> Why would you do that, bro? Why to your own son? Exactly. That's crazy. It's, that's messed up, man. That's really messed up. His son literally fucked his stepmother. That's, that, that's really that's really crazy. Fucking, uh, fucking rich people, man. It's weird, right? Yeah, man. And turning gay for no reason. Who's turning gay? Did he? Maybe he was always bisexual. How do we People know are saying no, did he now? Yeah, I've seen it. That's fucking stupid, man. That's, that's really not funny. It, it is a Cliff Worthy moment, though. It worked. Yeah. But nah, man. Shit's been going on for a while now. Yeah. But the rich people do be doing the weird shit, bro. Yes. They have like open relationships in a way. No, the, my theory is the sensation gets out of it. What do you mean? The the more you have, the more you need to uh, to get good? to this level of maybe dom- dopamine rush or sex drive or stuff like that. So let's say if you fuck a girl every day, Maybe for 10 years, you're fucking a girl every day. And then you're like, okay, now I need to fu- fuck two bitches. And then two bitches not enough is three. And after three bitches, you're like, maybe I need to try some niggas. And then you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I that's don't know, crazy. Man. I don't think I don't that's know, true, man. man. Uh, maybe he was always bisexual. Will Chamberlain fuck 20,000 women? No, they also use drugs. So maybe the drugs is also doing something. I think it's a combination of drugs I, I know people and accessibilities and tasting the forbidden fruit. I know people that have done all three and they didn't turn <laughs> gay. How do you know? Maybe they're not just exposed because they left 30 years ago when exposing wasn't a thing. No, I know people that, that, that are currently doing that and they're not, are not gay. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Man. I, t- I believe, I generally believe if somebody wants to keep it a secret, they will keep it a secret. It's really easy to keep it a secret. Unless you're really, really famous and there's some dickhead like this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> record you. It was so so funny, bro. There was like this Meek Mill freestyle, yeah. And Diddy was like there as well. So he was like, Meek Mill was rapping about, 
I was fucking this sexy bitch and Diddy looked back like. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, I know you're gay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, man. And also, the, like on the last album that that uh, Mick Mill dropped, he was talking about I wouldn't be here without Diddy and shit. Well, that's true because he he did a lot of things for him, right? Have you seen the clip of Justin Bieber sucking Odell Beckham Jr.? That's fake. Ah, it's the, it's the, it's the same with the Logan Paul sucking dick video. No, nah, no. Nah, Do you remember that one? No, nah, I I know that one, but that's actually fake. Yeah, that was fake. No, that was a different like that. That was a, that was a porn star that looked like Logan Paul. Oh, and the uh, Justin Bieber one is fake. No, it's actually Justin. But he's not really sucking dick. What is he doing? He's like in the club, and Odell is like sitting like this, and Justin is like very like low, like near his yeah. uh, near his crotch area, yeah. with his head like literally there. Yeah. And then someone starts filming them, and then like Odell like turns around and Justin like stands up and he's like looking at like this in the camera. I don't know what's going on. What do you mean you don't know what's going on? Well, they, we didn't see no dick, bro. So how do you know what's going on? All I'm in the club, bro, that's, that's, that's so outrageous. Bro. Justin Bieber was scared of Diddy. And Justin Bieber hangs out with Usher. And you know who sucks up Diddy? Usher? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's uh, Usher's actually, confirmed. Care less, Usher's actually confirmed. Is he gay? No, he fucks Diddy too. Oh. It's confirmed. He's in the court. Uh, he's in the court things in the papers. I know. Yeah. Free Usher, man. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear Usher denying anything yet. They never deny stuff. Meek Mill didn't. That was the funniest part. That that Meek Mill not denying was actually hilarious. Meek Mill saying it's AI instead of saying yeah. it's not me. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> that was actually funny, but yeah. At the end of the day, bro, I, I couldn't care less about all of them. I don't even listen to all of them. The only person that I lis- used to listen to was Usher when I was 10. Usher was really good back then, though. Yeah. Was it before or after he started fucking Diddy? The downfall of Usher. We, we need a video of that one, too. You know what I hate? People that keep making a video of the downfall of Mitt. Really? Like the Fortnite player. Yeah, does anyone do that at, uh, at this point? The, but people are, like, milking that shit. Really? Every couple of weeks, I see a new the downfall of Mitt. This needs to be studied and shit. Because one it's really sad, worked man. out. One was really, like, popping. Yeah, that's, yeah, they all copying. It's really sad, man. And Mitt, like, reacted to it and uh, it went crazy. Yeah, but he's not going crazy, which is really sad. Uh, but the guy has no fuse, bro. Yeah, till this day, bro. He gets no fuse. I thought he got some views back. And he's still, like, grinding, bro. And I, was, uh, For me, it is sad because he was one of my f- first Fortnite YouTubers that I used to watch. But I think he, he likes it more as well. I liked him because I could relate to him. But I think he, he himself is, like, happy now. I hope so. I hope his money's up. Does all I care about is I yeah, hope his money's up. I hope his up. money's up too. Yeah. He did get fucked over. He was, yeah, yeah, with like the TSM team or yeah, something yeah. like that. Fuck those guys too, man. No, but you, you didn't expect him to be that big, to be honest. Yeah. Nah, but like, I don't know, man. At the same time, like, he does, uh, he himself said about like, he had a nice community now. It wasn't, it wasn't for himself, like mentally, it was yeah. nice to stream instead of, you know, feeling like shit. Ninja has cancer? Ninja has cancer, yeah. That's true. But it's not that deep, I think. Skin cancer, right? It's on his foot. It's a melanoma. I think okay. it's skin cancer. So he had like a spot on his foot, like a mole. And then he checked it out and they were like, it, it might be melanoma and they like removed it. And they're like checking for a second spot. But that's about it. So he was, they were like, it's, it, we think it's a good thing because it's in the very early stages. And then he's uh, he's, he's advising everyone to ch- check out uh, like often. I have a spot on my toe too. Is it new? A uh, couple of months. What kind of a spot is it? It looks like a mole, but it's really dry. Go to the doctor, bro. If I die, I die, man. I'll, I'll get a different uh, Somali. Uh, bro, the thing is, also, bro, everything can be cancer, bro. How do I know what is cancer, what's not cancer? Are you bald yet? <laughs> bro, you don't. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm so stupid. <laughs> You get bald after chemotherapy. That's what <laughs> makes you lose hair. <laughs> okay, I said, are you bald yet? Like someday I'm gonna actually maybe you start to get alopecia because of it. Who knows? I don't think that. I think that doesn't How do you know, bro? Have you ever had cancer? 
<laughs> Have you ever had cancer? No. <laughs> I watched a TV show about movie, children movie about a girl with cancer. And did she survive? She was in elementary school. Did she survive? And for the US people, it's middle school. She was in middle school and uh, in class, one of her classmates pushed her and she got like a, what do you a say? Bruce. A bruise, but the bruise didn't disappear. She was like, what the fuck? Then she started to get really sick. She mm. would faint a lot, vomit a lot. Why not go to the doctor immediately? Yeah, and then uh, she's a child, bro. She but didn't know better. Bro, I was scared when shit like that happened. And then uh, I thought it was cancer, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and then they discovered she had cancer, and then the boy, the boy that was pulling her, became her boyfriend and stuff. Really? And at the end of the movie, she died. Really? Yeah. She was a good actress. I liked her. That's funny. She was in uh, a couple other movies too. Yeah, I'd be like that. Yeah. No, nah, uh, my girlfriend showed me like so such a fucked up clip today. She's like, look, look, look. She's like all happy. Look how sad this is. It's like a little kid. And the caption was, uh, look how the look how cancer drains the life out of you. It's a little baby, bro. It's a baby. It's a baby. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't want to see this. Yeah. It's like like now nah, look, look. And she was like really happy about the clip. So I'm like, it's a, it's gonna be positive. Could, okay, happy ending. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a happy yeah. ending. And it shows like this baby being depressed, dumb with life. I'm like, why the fuck are you showing me this? Yeah. Yeah, look how sad it is. Why are you laughing, bro? Like, what the, what the fuck <laughs> do you mean? You, have, you, Women, haven't, bro. you haven't learned anything from your uh, psycho documentary <laughs> YouTube channel, bro. <laughs> you need to do some tests. Nah. So sometimes. Uh, all th- everybody reacts different to stuff. Sometimes when my girlfriend makes a joke, I, I on purpose don't laugh. Why? So that she knows that she's not funny. Maybe she's not laughing because of her. Because I laugh when I get uh, when I used to get my ass yeah, whooped yeah. as a child. I would always laugh. That's crazy. Even uh, though I had pain, because that was just nah, my I way of coping with it. I don't. know, Maybe maybe that. that maybe it is her way of coping with it. But it's for everyone. Yeah. Because laughing. Or makes maybe it's fucking her mentally so bad that she's going crazy. That she, that's why she's nah, laughing. Nah, nah. She's not the joker, but you don't care because you don't think bro. about it. <laughs> <laughs> but the joker didn't start like that, right? He he he. He fell into this yeah. chemical stuff. Um, is that like the true origin of the Joker? There's multiple origins. I think they just I made that the, up. The true origin. No, that, that's one of the things. Uh, but one of the things was... He no, was I want to know what's the first origin. He one. was a... W- the first origin was he was a crazy man. That's, that's okay. pretty much it. <coughs> uh, crazy clown. But the later origin story, as far as I know, is... He was this dude working for the mafia. Because he had, he had a wife and a kid that he had to take care of. And what happened is that he owed like one of the one of the things is he is the mafia and Batman pushes him in, into the vat and he becomes a Joker and the other one from the killing joke I think which is really sad uh, pretty much goes into him having to take care of his family and ha- doing a job for the mafia and the mafia is pressing him like in the chemical factory and he falls into the thing and uh, they kill his family so like. His life is going to shit. And then he looks in, into like the puddle, sees himself, and he just starts laughing, like maniacally. Because he's like, it's crazy. And uh, and what happened was that Batman pushed him, like uh, he beat him, thinking that he was a bad guy, but he wasn't. He was actually the, the good guy of the story. And that's how he fell into the vet. And then went crazy, because he's like, I'm a good guy. I'm trying to take care of my family. My family's di- de- dead. And Batman, the guy that's supposed to save me from these bad guys, is the one that pushed me into the shit. And he went crazy. Yeah. And that's why Batman doesn't kill him. Because he feels <laughs> guilty and shit. Uh, nah, mo- uh, it's like moral uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So like, I get that they can't make Batman kill the Joker. There's a, there's a Batman that killed the Joker, right? There's multiple Batman that killed the Joker. Yeah. In the killing joke, he killed him at the end. Yeah, he choked him to death. No, he shot him, right? No, no. Which he one did he... One, there was one... The old one. Batman... Um, the killing joke he shot him at the end no 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 in the killing joke they both started laughing oh yeah and then he like uh, put his like hand on his shoulder and then his other shoulder and then he started choking him to death oh okay that was really dark yeah the dark night because the killing joke it was literally a joke that he told Batman and Batman started laughing because of the joke and then he killed him just a funny joke I think he just started laughing because he went crazy I don't know and the ha ha! Finally, I will kill the snake. The yeah. one where he also kills him is the one where he's old. It's yeah. like the Batman. 
The Dark Knight or something. There's like also that. one that uh, Robin kills the Joker after Batman died. Yeah, also. But, but I don't know which Robin that was. Uh, probably Damien. I don't think Damien. Is Damien the one that got beat up by the Joker? No, that's 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 Thought? Jason. That's Jason. Jason. Yeah, that's Jason. Yeah. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. Jason. Do, 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 do. Uh, basically, Damien also killed Dick. Yeah. Is it like really canon? Does it always happen or is it like one occasion? I think it's one occasion. Yeah. But it, it's, it's stupid. The way he killed the the way he killed him yeah, is so yeah, stupid. So stupid but I think it makes sense. Oh, it was an injustice. Damien killed uh, Dick in injustice. Yeah. It's like where Superman rips fucking Joker yeah. apart. Yeah. That one was really dark. I really liked it. I always liked the uh, when Superman loses control. I, I hate it. Because that's like one thing that I always was w- w- curious about. Why doesn't he just fuck everything up? Because nobody can, uh, is able to stop him. Exactly, but then... Then like, pretty much... Oh yeah, the, I, I said the killing joke. The killing joke is actually pretty funny. You want to hear the killing joke? Yeah. The two guys on the bridge? See, uh, see, there were two guys in a lunatic asylum. Yeah, I know that one. And yeah. one night, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And pretty much for the for the listeners. And one night, one night, they, they decide they don't like living in an asylum yeah. anymore. And they decide they're going to escape. So, like, they get up to the roof. They just across this narrow gap, they see the rooftops of the town stretching away in the moonlight, stretching away to freedom. Now, the first guy he jumps right across with no problem, but his friend. His friend didn't dare make the leap. You see, you see, he's afraid of falling. So then the first guy has an idea. He says, hey, I have my flashlight with me. I'll shine it across the gap between the buildings. You can walk along the beam and join me. But the second guy just shakes his head. She says, what do you think I am? Crazy? You turn it off when I was halfway across. Yeah. It's, like, it's kind of funny. It's not really, bro. Let's be honest. It's, not, it's, it's actually a horrible joke. When I heard it, I was like, this is actually hilarious. No, I thought it was a horrible joke, man. Really? Yeah. Why? Come on, that's funny, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. But did you know there's like a whole theory on why your favorite superhero is your s- favorite superhero? Why? Who's your favorite superhero? Batman. Apparently, if your Batman is your favorite superhero, you used to get bullied and shit. <laughs> and that is true. <laughs> And with Superman is, you had like a, n- a normal, happy upgrowing. That's why you like Superman. Because he symbolizes like your youth and That's stuff crazy. like that. It's, it's like whole like That's psychologic b- thing about why a superhero is your favorite superhero. For what, some people, what, what is it? For the people watching, look it up. What, what, what I found I it already up? too. <laughs> what did I look up? Huh? Uh, why, why your su- favorite superhero is your super- favorite, favorite superhero or something superhero. like that. The psycholog- psychological favorite. thing about superheroes, something like that. Superhero. The superhero, superhero <coughs> theory or something. The superhero theory. Mm, let me see. Okay, let me look it up in the meantime. Superhero theory, psychology. You find you find it. And and with Spider Man, it is you're really childish and shit. Those something like that. People that like Spider Man, they're like. Really childish. Uh, Superman was you had a your your like straight up person that the lift had a good background as a as a child. You didn't get bullied and shit. You was always popular and stuff. And we, and they were like explaining all the heroes. Did you find it or not? I, I can't find it. Maybe this is it. Apparently, there's superhero therapy. It's not supposed to. I have no clue, but I'm driving over some cables right now. The superhero psychology theory. I can't find it, man. What is your superhero in the meanwhile? I would say Batman too. I always liked Batman. But you didn't get bullied. When I was, I got, I got bullied. When I was but everyone shit. gets bullied, right? When I was really young. My favorite superhero was Spider-Man. But then I watched one fucked up Spider-Man cartoon 
Which where one? where he killed his girlfriend and then he got depressed and then he put his uh, spider suit in a in a suitcase and then he threw it over the bridge and that's where it the ended. Hell? It's that's like crazy. fucked up. He was fighting these twins that could like change or something like that. Uh-huh. Or they gave him something like that or they gave him a drug. Yeah. And he thought his girlfriend was one of the villains. Then he pushed her off a of a of a uh, big t- f- big uh, uh, really yeah. that's crazy. He didn't save her because it's like the old school Spider Man, right? I don't know. It was uh, I, I watched that when I was six or something, two thousand six, seven. I, s- I saw one of the funniest memes about Spider Man. Like bro, I'm not done with my story, bro. I was I thought you were done. I thought you were done. I was depressed. The next day I was ready for the next f- episode, but yeah? it never came. Oh really? And I was like, nah, fuck, bro. No way. No I got way. really sad. I was like, bro, he's dead. Because I didn't know it. The, 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 these cartoons are fake and stuff. I was like, Sp- Spider Man is dead. He's never coming back. That's crazy. That's why I started to hate Spider Man and then my favorite superhero became Batman. For me? Maybe he, uh, I got traumatized. And I, I grew up like Batman. Batman was traumatized. Yeah. His parents died. And my parents were Spider Man. <laughs> That's why he became my superhero. Uh, now, nah, for me, I have a couple. I like the Flash too. Mm. Actually, no, my favorite superhero isn't Batman, it's Nightwing. I want to see Robin. I liked uh, Teen Titans. I but loved I, Robin. I loved the entire as Robin. Too. But I loved Batman too. But I love Ju- Young Justice more. Young Justice is one of the best cartoons of all time. Yeah, Young Justice is really good, but I, uh, I didn't like, really. Uh, I was I was way older when I started watching it, so I didn't like. I didn't experience it the same as I s- experienced Teen Titans yeah. and uh, and uh, the Batman. Be- what was it called again? Beyond. Beyond. Uh, like Beyond the is the Batman. future, right? Yeah. No, not the one. It was a bolt and something. Bold and uh, the brave. Yeah, that shit was fire. That was good. That, that was, was hilarious, good. bro. That, was that shit was actually hilarious. Yeah. Have you seen the one clip with the where, you, where, where the girls like Batman wouldn't hit a woman? Yeah, fist of justice or something like no, that. No, he's like justice doesn't discriminate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> punching her, bro. Sure, yeah. <laughs> you know the Spider-Man episode where he fits the child in the cancer center. Yeah. Then he tells her his identity. Yeah. Then he she dies. Yeah, I know, I know. That was one really that sad. That's so dude. sad. I don't know why they, they added that to the fucking child children. Oh, bro, you know what's hilarious, bro? There's like this uh, uh, sp- Spider Man movie, Spider Man Lotus. Have you ever heard, heard of it? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Spider Man Lotus was this fan made movie. Mm-hmm. And basically, it was going to be a movie made by the fans for the fans. Because the fans didn't like the, the live action movies. Yeah. So, this, this director was making the movie. He was like, I'm going to make all these stories known to people that people have never heard about it, yeah. that people were like, damn, this is crazy. At the end, he literally talked about the stories that everyone knew. He didn't t- do any of that extra shit. And Spider-Man, the actor himself, turned out to be like the craziest racist guy ever, bro. Well, that's fucked. And on the episode with the with the cancer child, that was the funniest shit ever. He just like, talked about it himself and just walked away. It was very like emotionless, nothing. It was so yeah. It was so bad, bro. Got like this uh, backlash, but talking about Spider Man, I saw this meme yesterday and it's so fuck. It made me cry, bro. It's called you see like Aunt May yeah. going. So Peter, why was Mary Jane calling you the tongue of NYC? <laughs> <laughs> and he's laughing, bro. No, no, no that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, that's crazy. That's <laughs> wild, bro. That's wild. Bro, and then in the end, he's laughing. Bro, look at this. Oh, that shit! That shit had me in shambles. Bro. Look at this shit, bro. It's that's going that, that's crazy, wild. bro. This world. This is hilarious. People are really people. I love that people get so creative with memes. Yeah. yeah. How about did you find the Did you find the Reddit thing? I'm not looking for it now. Why your favorite superhero? Bro, the guy that sent me the Spider Man clip also sent me a meme. Sent me a meme saying there will be two Ramadans in 2030. Heard that? Huh? There will be two yeah, Ramadans yeah, in yeah. 2030. Yeah, that's it's true. A double XP weekend for us. Yes. <laughs> are like is it are like two eights, or does two Ramadans start? Uh, th- there are two Ramadans in that in that year. So in January and December or something like that. No, but like it's not the it's not the full month. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it is. No, it's 15 days. Huh? It's not the full <coughs> month. What do you mean 15, 15 Our days? Our calendars differ 15 days, so it's not a full month. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm yeah, saying. So it will be. Just part of it then. Is it 15 days? Isn't it 10? I thought it was 10. Why is... I don't know what to search, man. I, I can't find it either. I 
the memes. I Superhero think. psychologist. Maybe this is it. Well, I finally found a site and I have to sign up, man. Fucking bullshit. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, maybe this is it. Superhero psychology. I found it on TikTok, so maybe that's the problem. But yeah, uh, if I remember Spider-Man was he was kind of childish person. He don't really care about a lot of stuff. Maybe and we need to search persona, pers- personality traits. Superhero what personalities? What your favorite superhero says about you? Yeah, let me look that up. Maybe it's this. Seven. Seven. Uh, seven I, th- I think it's the closest one. To. You can Superman. You can yeah. be an overachiever. Um, let's see. You can be an overachiever, so you're used to setting the bar and handling the pressure that comes with it. You don't like to be the uh, wha- the the. You don't like to be on the losing team. You're loyal to a fault and get along with others who are the same. You like rules and do everything by the book. You're also an optimist with strong moral values. You see the good and all, despite what Batman fans say about you. Why do they come uh, with Batman fans? Fuck them, Batman fans. <laughs> Batman, you like your heroes damaged because no one is perfect. The tough times in your life have made you more resilient, but you have thick outer shell. You have worked hard and you work hard and get things done, but you're not an attention seeker. You have a strong sense of right and wrong and will intervene when you feel an injustice has been committed. Letting go of a grudge can be a challenge for you. That's like you. No, I, I let go of grudge. No, you can have all the traits. Exactly. Just like how the star sign girls uh, <laughs> accept that bullshit. This is our star sign. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> 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 no. Nah. Back back in the day, I couldn't let go of grudge, but now I can. Nowadays, I can. I'm I'm like Nightwing now. I changed. There's no Nightwing in this list, bro. Cause he's not he's not popping enough. No, it's cause he's dead. <laughs> Wonder Woman, you can hold your own in a group of guys. That's crazy, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Is that the only thing they say? <laughs> no, no, that would no, be no, crazy. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're confident, strong, self-assured, and a leader among your friends. You can be feminine and powerful at the same time. You're honest and optimist and command attention. You are the egg candy of Hollywood is the best. Nah. It's the, it's the, the berries with the heart outside. The cherries? With the berries. The pink ones. The pink and the black ones. I don't know the black ones, but keep going. Spider-Man, you were probably that kid who was never afraid of spiders and thought getting villain would ma- would be worth having spidey sense. Everyone did that, bro. You are smart, witty, and prefer to stay out of the spotlight. You don't f- have a fear of heights, but you may have a fear of commitment. Making it, <laughs> making it difficult to express your feelings to someone you care about. The Hulk, you wear your emotions on your sleeve. I've never heard somebody say the Hulk's my favorite superhero. I, I've never heard about it either. S- s- it's the same as saying Wolverine is my favorite. Well, I get Wolverine. Not the strange, bro. For, from Wolverine. all the heroes you choose, Wolverine? Wolverine is fire, bro. Oh, you got issues? Wolverine is up there for me. I would rather have Hulk than Ho- uh, Wolverine. That's crazy. Now now you got issues. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the Hulk movie is very good. But Wolverine. The movie. first Hulk movie, that was really good. Wo- Wolverine has a really good movie, too. Have you watched Logan? Yeah, yeah I know. Logan is great. Is, that, is Logan the one that he goes back in time? No, he's old. He dies. No, the original Wolverine movie is good. Where he fights his brother. Yeah. That yeah. one is f- good. Logan is But fire. the one where he goes back in time to meet the professor, the, That's the, the future, guy. Days of Future Past. That's also good. I watched it on my birthday when I was 14 alone. You liked it? I enjoyed it. It was one of the best experiences I ever had. Because it was like, I was like 14, I think. And so you, you get to the age where your mom lets you go outside at yeah. night alone. For the one time, like three, four months yeah. ever. So I was watched like, I in the cinema. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. "Can I go to the cinema?" She's like, "Who you want to go with?" I was like, "I'm gonna go alone." So like, that's sad. <laughs> do you want to go alone? I was like, "I want to just do it." Yeah. And I went alone, bro, and I had the time of my life. Afterwards, I got like a milkshake at McDonald's. Yeah. And I got onto the wrong, <laughs> wrong tram, and I went to the south. And I was like, "Shit, how do I go back now?" <laughs> and I walked back over the bridge. Uh. <laughs> Well, it was a great Getting one. on the wrong 
term by accident is one of the most horrible things that can happen to you, especially if you don't realize it quick. Especially if you're a kid. Sometimes they say yours is coming in one minute, yeah. and the other one is in three. But the other one comes that first. That happened to me. That happened, that happened to me. a lot of times with me. Then I'm just fine. I'm like, bro, I don't know this neighborhood. So for me, yeah, exactly. So yeah. for me, I wasn't used to like doing that at all because yeah. I w- just walked, you know. Yeah. And it was like the, the third year I was in, no, the, the second year I was in the Netherlands. Yeah. So for me, I, I never used a public transit, and mm. I was nowhere. I'm like, because I used to ask my mom which number do I need to take. She's like 21, 24. And I looked, and I'm like 24, 24. And I don't know where I'm going over the bridge. And I'm like, I don't know. Where the fuck am I going, bro? Yeah. Where are they taking me for no reason? No, nah. yeah. well, it was fun, man. It was a uh, one of my fun memories. But the, m- the Logan movie, you should watch that. I think you would love it. Yeah, I've seen it. I don't really. It's old man Wolverine. What does he do in the movie? He being old. He doesn't fight. He fights. Okay. He fights himself. How old is he? Like gray hairs old or like gray hairs old? Okay. It's it's really really good. Okay. It came out back when we went on our language trips at school. So when you went to Germany, I went yeah. to London. It came out there. It's really, really good. I might have seen it. I don't know. Iron Man, you love the latest gadget toys and appreciate the finer things in life. You love to live big, but need to remember the money isn't everything. Captain America. I've never heard anyone say Captain America is my favorite. Well, then maybe it's an American thing. Some really? American patriarchy. patriarchy. So whack, bro. America. Number That's one. it. Where's the other superheroes at? Yeah, bro, nobody cares about their... That's crazy. Nobody gonna say Green Lantern is my favorite, bro. People actually, the Green Lantern inspired. comics are really good. They're really, really good. The comics good. are really good, man. Green Lantern is one of the comics I've actually read. Yeah, They're really me inspired. too. Really good. I watched. I read the the Blackest Night comics, and that shit was really, really fun. It's like when the the Black Lanterns take over, and like yeah, yeah, oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the shit becomes DC, like the zombie DC shit. Yeah, that's good. And what else? The Flash. He's on. He's not on the list. You say he's a mediocre. Nah, Flash but is one of because Superman is also quick. But Flash is quicker. No. They did a race in one of the... Yeah, and Flash beat him. No, he didn't, right? At the end of the race, he's like, I had thanks for the race, man. He's like, fucking oh, uh, beat. Goes I, d- I don't like remember crazy. that part. I don't remember that part. No, because the, they were like doing a charity Superman thing. is actually the ultimate hero. Because he, he can do everything. Hero. He can yeah. literally do everything. Yeah. Shout out to him, man. But he can't go back in time. Oh, he can't. Okay. Actually, he did it once. Have Is you seen the movie? No, no. <laughs> this one time, the Chinese wall got destroyed, so he like s- flew around the planet like... 20,000 times and it went it, it back in time. Okay. Just Superman, crazy. man. Superman. I like the movie or like the TV show where he gave up his powers to have a family. Have you seen that one? Smallville? Yeah, that one. The old one, right? Where he wasn't really Superman. What do you mean he wasn't? He has two sons, right? I don't know. There's like one go uh, the recent show. He has like two sons and he gave up his power to be able to become a dad. Something stupid like that. But his sons have power. But he doesn't know more. I believe. Or I'm not just talking out of my ass. Because I haven't really seen it. I have no clue, bro. Dude, dude, I think dude, you're talking dude, about it. But yeah. I think Superman is one of the franchises that have could done a way better job. But they just didn't execute it well. Like I don't think so. Also, the movies. Because he I can't do anything and everything. But there's it's no kind one. Of unfair. There's no one movie that's like really good. Even like the Thor movie was fucking good. The Thor movie is better but than Superman is like every th- Superman movie. But uh, what makes a good, what makes a movie good is struggle. Yeah, Superman struggles. How can no? Kinichi has no struggle, bro. He has no weakness, except for Kryptonite. No, no. He, he, when, when his alien brothers came to Earth, they beat the shit out of him. Well, but like he was, was he was levels because these people got to the earth once and yeah. out of nowhere they had the same power that Superman had for living fucking 20 years on uh, the sun. I think they don't put a lot on his personal story. Exactly, that too. There's but problem. there's like so much shit that that's actually interesting that they know. Uh, it would be cool to see Doomsday. Actually, we saw Doomsday in Superman. It wasn't really, really good. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's it's hard to make a good movie about someone that doesn't have a weakness. Batman mm-hmm. was good because Batman has a weakness. They, like, he literally had his bad br- back broken and shit. And yeah. had to, like time the th- that shit was cool when he like had. Did you see the the Dark Knight Rises? Yeah. Where he had to like climb out of the pit. Pit, yeah. And that was that shit was fire. Yeah. Because what well, Superman is like. Have yeah. No, but Batman has better stories than Superman. I don't think so. It is. I think. But there, the, what 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 story does Superman have? The one like an arc that's like wild. <coughs> There's no wild arcs in Superman's life. The one where he got cancer. 
Well, I don't remember that one. He died. Also Superman. Batman has him going to the shadow. To, what does it call again? Uh, the League of Shadows. The League of Shadows. Yeah. League of Shadows whole arc. Actually, yeah, League of right? Owls also. League of Owls was in the movie, the recent movie in 2016 or something. They executed it pretty well. Have you seen that one with like the son of Batman? Oh yeah, yeah the franchise. Yeah, yeah, they did a movie of that one too. That was really good. Yeah, Superman has everything, man. Batman yes, he has, he has Robins, orcs with different Robins, good villains. Superman only has like the bald nigga. I forgot his name. Lexus Luthor. <laughs> That's the only good nigga. Uh, nah, 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 he has a couple other ones as well. Yes, he Doomsday. Them? Yes, he has this arc where he's in love with Wonder Woman, which makes what makes no sense because he already has Lewis. I never understood that. Yeah, I never understood why the they. Shit. I didn't understand why they tried to link them. There's yeah. the one where he becomes a god. Uh, no, I don't know. He he goes to the sun, I think, and he stays at the sun for like a million years after Lois dies, I think, and he becomes Superman one million, and he becomes a god, like a celestial god, mm. and he recreates Lois for memory, and at some point he's just, he's just a god. He does god things. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. He's just too overpowered. I would say, if there are like two lists of super superheroes... On like their personal stories, S- Superman would be the lowest tier. Yeah, because he's overpowered, bro. Yeah, he has no stories. That's it. He, he c- you can't have stories when you you don't struggle, bro. What's the story to struggle about? He he actually has some cra- crazy enemies that he fought with, but he just beats them. Yeah, There's he died once. He came back once. I never understood that's Doomsday storyline. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Maybe like that. The, the Green Lantern does have good stories. Yeah, I, Green I used to love the Green Lantern animated shows as well. Maybe the Superman comics are really good. I've never read the Superman comic. Uh, it's good, but it's just... Um, it's just Superman. I read Spider-Man, Green Lantern, Batman, of course. Batman. Batman, Batman does have really good stories. So. What other heroes are there? Nightwing. I, I, don't, I never read a Nightwing uh, comic. Yeah, yeah, sex with Barber. Mm. Justice League comics, I've read those. Justice League do, do have good stories. Dark side and shit. Yeah, the, the League has good stories. Uh, I've never ever seen anyone read, read the Wonder Woman comic. Maybe back in the day it was popular. Maybe uh, we're pissing off like all the fans. <laughs> you yeah. like Wonder Woman. I fuck her, bro. Mm, I don't know, man. I think that was all. I don't think I really read other superheroes. You know who has really good stories too? X Men. Yeah, you wanna X-Men. hear a funny story about it? Actually, you w- you wanna know why <laughs> Avengers are so popping right now? Why? Because apparently they had no one else to make movies about. Marvel didn't ha- doesn't own any other of the superheroes that are actually popular. That yeah, makes sense. The who's the most popular Marvel superheroes? X Men. Yeah. Wolverine. Well, where is the X-Men, yeah? Uh, I think that was... I don't really know. Spider-Man? Spider-Man does make an appearance in the Marvel. No, he's Marvel. Yeah, the, he makes an appearance no, in no, the No, 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 I know. But movie. like, if if you take it away, like, let's, yeah. say, let's say comic-wise, who's the most popular ones? Spider-Man, Batman. No, no, no. Only Marvel. Marvel <laughs> or Spider-Man. X-Men. X-Men. And Fantastic Four. Oh, yeah. Fantastic Four, too. Yeah. Those were the three main things, right? Yeah. So what happened was Marvel was going bankrupt and they had to sell the rights of okay. their most popular franchises. Yeah. Spider-Man and Fantastic Four. No, Sp- Spider-Man went to Sony. Mm-hmm. X-Men and Fantastic Four went to Fox. So w- time comes, mm-hmm, yeah. they need to make good movies. They don't have any of their good A-listers. Yeah, they only have the Avengers. So they made the Avengers happen. Makes sense. Makes sense. Because I, re- I remember I remember like seeing a Iron Man like a trailer for a cartoon mm-hmm. and I was like who's this goofy ass dude because I d- literally didn't like him I was like I want to s- watch Spider-Man bro I don't want to watch this yeah. dude and now Iron Man is really popping yeah so yeah did really well on the, the Iron Man movies uh, Robert Downey Jr. did a really really good job yeah. on acting I, I rewatched the first one and it's, it's it's actually still fire to this day man yeah. the story was also really good yeah it's also very grounded too yeah what else mm, I was going to say something shit there were no other heroes on the list was it done only four no, but like okay. you get the whole 
side of Spider-Man. So with Spider-Man, all of his enemies, all of his ah, things. Okay, yeah, yeah. And also apparently they have like a deal. So if Sony doesn't make a Spider-Man movie every seven years, seven and a half years, they lose the rights. Superman is now global, right? Everybody no, can make a Superman movie. Ten, ten years, years everybody yeah. can make a Superman movie yeah, yeah. without getting sued and shit. Exactly. And Batman too. That's nice. And Wonder Woman too. Batman is a year after that, I think. Oh. Or two years after that. <laughs> People are going to make the craziest LGBTQ Batmans and stuff, man. Ah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Why Batman? Because uh, people la- love controversy. LGBTQ is going to be a thing in 10 years, bro. If you make Superman... I'm calling it right now, If you bro. make Superman LGBTQ gay... LGBTQ is I'm not bro, a thing listen, in 10 years. Let me listen, bro. If you make Superman gay, it's not that deep. If you make Batman gay, I think you will upset a lot of people. LGBTQ is not going to be a thing in 10 years. Uh, why not, bro? Uh, it's totally going to disappear. Because a lot of people that are in the LGBTQ community right now are saying that it's a phase. Mm. I don't know, man. I think it's a phase. I'm putting it out there. LGBTQ community is going to be one of the dying ones. I think it's a phase. What do you mean as community? Like the people are not going to yeah. be LGBTQ no more? I think it's they're not going to be LGBTQ anymore. A lot of peop- a lot of gay people hate LGBTQ. You know that, right? Yeah. No, no they hate LGBTQ+. Plus. But LGBTQ is only lesbian, gays, <coughs> transgenders, bisexuals. Lesbian, right? LG, lesbian, gay. What's it? LGB. LGB, bisexual. Uh, LGBT, T is transgenders. Yeah. Q, Q is queer. So queer. I think that those won't die. That the five won't never die. Because queers have been always since the beginning of time. They were always there. But queers are gay. No, queers are people that dress up, right? No, that's 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 a. That's I don't, a don't even know what a queer is. A queer is an umbrella term for gay people. What's my phone? I, I don't know, bro. Yeah, but that's queer, actually a good question. Queers are umbrella terms for gay people. What is a queer? I thought there was always the people that uh, that dre- love dressing different way. That's a drag queen. Yeah, much different. Uh, denoting or relating to a sexual or gender identity that does not correspond to established ideas of sexualities and gender, especially heterosexual norms. Queer gay culture has featured gay teams since the 1980s. So it's like a mix. Huh. Okay, something like that. Okay. But the reason why I think the LGBTQ community is going to kind of die out is because we are living in a time where no one has issues. And I think we're going to slowly start going into the age where more problems are going to come out. Um, problems, tough times, create tough people. And no, tough but people no, but yeah, it's don't have time. Yeah, but LGBTQ... It was never a problem. You would exactly. always exist. No, I'm saying the I think community. the plus part. I'm saying the community. Oh, like the attention. I'm, I'm not people. saying gay people are going to you know, stop yeah, being gay. Yeah. That's whatever. I, I, I don't mind gay people being gay. Yeah. I'm saying the, the communities. Okay. Because like gay people part. don't necessarily want everyone everything to be gay. You know what I mean? The LGBTQ yeah. community wants that. For me, it's the same shit. Like if it's it's if I, I watch a movie I and someone a is gay in it, I do not care. Yeah. I, just, I don't care if someone is straight or gay. You know, if someone's straight in the in the books, make them straight in the thing. If someone's gay in the books, make them gay in the movie. I, I couldn't care less. You know, I like the source material. But the LGBTQ LGBTQ community wants to like push the narrative of, oh, like let's make this gay for no reason. Isn't there like a difference between LGBTQ plus and the normal LGBTQ? No, it's the same community. Okay. But the people that are LGBTQ, that's a different thing. Because you you are just one of the people, right? Yeah. But the LGBTQ is just the community after it. Okay, okay. Ah, that makes it's sense. It's like being Muslim and being Islam, uh, what's it called? Islam police. Haram police. Haram police, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Just like that. Okay. LGBTQ is the Haram police and the gay people are just like us Muslim. Actually, mm-hmm. we're not there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way to explain it. Now I get what you mean, I get what you mean. Yeah, it's really... So yeah, I think that we live in a time where everyone wants to be special. Yeah. So people, especially young girls, are lost in what they are. They want to be special, right? That sounds so deep, bro. Bro, <laughs> 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 what's it, bro? Bro, cooking, man. Yeah, we also we almost got cooked. How did we get cooked? There was a fucking fire here, bro. Oh, literally, literally yeah. there, there was a fire. There was a fire. Real life, hour ago or something Shout like that. Shout to the fire vendors. Fighters. <laughs> <Fire benders. laughs> they were actually water benders. They are water benders. Yeah, they were actually water. Shout out to the firefighters, man. We had, we had like a group chat of the building, right? Yeah. 
I, I, I replied to like the, the messages of the firefighters with like the fire emojis. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. But yeah, we had a we had a little fire here. Scooter, it was right. Scooter, yeah, scooter. Some, someone, somebody, uh, yeah. a moped. Moped, yeah. Someone lit up a moped. Yeah. Electric moped too. For no reason. And uh, there were firefighters in our building, literally, on our uh, floor, and uh, they extinguished, extinguished the fire. Is that the right word? Extinct. Extinct. Yeah, that's not with your cable. It's not my cable, actually. They extinguished the fire. Someone took my cable. And that's the black cable that I ordered later on. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. I always extinguished. wanted to be a... One of the things I wanted to be when I was a child was a firefighter. For me, it was a garbage man. But the first thing that I ever wanted to be was a chef. Then a firefighter, and then I want to be a doctor, and then I wanted to be an architect, and then I was like, "Fuck this shit, bro." I'm gonna be homeless. I'm gonna be, you know. Uh, then I wanted to be a software engineer. I want to be a philosopher. No, no, sorry. I wanted to be a history teacher, and then I want to be a software engineer. But if there's one thing, if if money didn't matter. I would be a history a uh, teacher. Yeah, that's sh- that's just fire. Yeah. I wanted it too, but yeah, I need to get my money up first. That's why people need to subscribe and like the shit. One day I'm gonna be so a I philosopher. Be a Is there like a famous people? Is there like same f- famous person that we know that does maybe online content, but he's also like a teacher or something on the side? Yeah, it's a, it's a question. Yeah, I think so. The I rapper Akuma Jin. I don't really count him because he doesn't really want to be a teacher. He wants to be yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. musician, Mr. which Mr. he's Mr. doing. Our scientist, our in-house scientist. It's crazy, man. Halid. Halid is not doing uh, other stuff. He's only... This is podcast. Uh, he has a podcast. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And he's a teacher. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't... No, it's not the same because I want to be a teacher. I don't get what you're saying. You're asking me for someone that's a... No, no. I'm asking you for somebody that got his money up to do what he actually enjoys. Oh, like that? Yeah. I don't think we know one. The only person that I could say was uh, Giuseppe, our teacher. Yeah. Yeah, true. He did that, yeah. Yeah. He was a fucking millionaire, probably. Just giving lessons because he really enjoyed it and wanted to give lessons. Like promoted us. And what's it called? He's Pushed the boat to drop out of Yeah, he's the reason I dropped out. He's also the reason I dropped out from that. Yeah. He's a really good guy. Man. Maybe w- later if I become a millionaire, I will look, search him up. Then I will invite him to a boat party or something. I should add him on LinkedIn. You know, you know rich people have like these yacht tours through fucking countries and stuff? Really? Yes. Yeah, so fucking random, man. For what, for what reason? They just, just, they just travel their yachts <laughs> to another country yeah. to chill in the water there. But I get that. They, just, they tour around it. I get but that. Like yeah. uh, That's really fun. No, if you if you go with your bo- your yacht to that country, I get it. But they uh, transport the yacht with a with a plane or I don't know ship. I don't know how they do that shit. No, they they, they have like people that that <laughs> plane. They have people that like drive it there, and then they get on the yacht. Have you ever played GTA Online? You know, you, you called your yacht, yacht I captain. Didn't had a, I didn't have a yacht. I had a yacht. I, had, I only had the helicopter. I called the yacht, <laughs> I called, called the yacht the pilot up. I was like, yo, bro, you can't bring my yacht over there. Yeah, and he He's like, okay. And he brought it over there and I just went to the yacht. No, I, d- I, I never got that far in GTA. I had modern money. I glitched my money like crazy. Oh, yeah. I, I had like 14 zeros. I was, I was, I was a good s- citizen. <laughs> Now for me, it I, I had no patience. Once I saw easy money, I realized how easy it was to become rich in the game. Yeah. But easy money is is, is 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 a way to to lose interest in game. Interesting in games, yeah. And then you start doing shit like race for the fucking twenty two hundred hours in the game. But the racing, uh, we really enjoyed the racing. I really enjoyed the racing too. Yeah, really, really GTA racing was really uh, fun. When I got hacked, someone deleted my GTA. The thing was, I I glitched on GTA, but the glitching is also like a hustle because you really got to grind that shit too. Yeah. Uh, but you make so much money like every 10 minutes instead of every hour. So basically, my account got deleted that I had since 20 th- 2013, 14. And I had to start again, you know. And I don't want to do all that shit again. So I glitched. 
and s- for no reason, bro, the week that my account got hacked and deleted, and I had a le- level one character, the craziest glitch on GTA Online ever came out. It was so crazy that you literally would be making a hundred million in ten seconds. Yeah. That's how easy it was. Yeah, it was a glitch where you were stuck in the sell screen of your car and just kept clicking sell, and it would just sell over and over and over again. So you just spam that shit like so many times, and I did it, and all my friends did it too, and I was the only person that kept the account. They took all my money. Yeah, but I kept the account. Yeah. And all my cars and everything that I had. It's gone. No, th- they were there. They were still there, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, nice. I had like infinite assets. Yeah. And all my friends, their accounts were deleted. So I was the like... The magic yeah. touch, bro. The magic touch. The magic touch, man. They, I was like, someone saw at Rockstar that my account got deleted. And they're like, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll let them keep his shit for now. Do you think they do that shit manual? I'd, uh, maybe. Because Rockstar, Rockstar has a history of benefiting me with a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's one time on Reddit 2 as well. I was like talking about uh, me not. I bought like this beginner pass for gold in the game because I w- I love the game, so I bought it for like five bucks. I got like the special edition thing, and I talked to them. And I was like, "Hey, this and this happened. It's like a little glitch, glitch to me." And the dude was like, ah, "Actually, I'm not allowed to do this, but here, have have fifty gold. And fifty gold costs like a hundred bucks." Yeah, and he just gave it to me. And my friend had the same issue, and he was like, "Sorry, I can't do anything to you." <laughs> Yeah, we used to do that with EA employees when we was playing FIFA. And uh, back in the day, if you had to qu- if you, if you wanted to qualify for the weekend league, you had to play a four games tournament. And you w- had to win all four games. And then you, at the, the fourth game would be the final. And if you won that, you was qualified for the weekend league, which was then forty matches only on Saturdays and Sundays. Friday wasn't even included back then. Really? Yeah, you had That's to play crazy. 40 you games. Had to like grind like crazy. Yeah, you had to play 40 games uh, in the weekend. And the tournament was impossible to complete. It was really fucking hard. You was only allowed once every week to try to go to qualify for that uh, weekend league. And if you lost it... No, no, sorry, I'm, I'm tripping. It, it was draft. It was not even uh, qualification. It was the draft. And every time we lost the draft, we would contact them and we would say we lost connection. And they would give you a shit They would give you a draft pack. Then you could play it again. But because you lost the first round, you also got packs. Yeah. And back in the day, you didn't have SBCs and it wasn't really easy to make money in the game. So the extra 5k you made from that whole process was worth it. So, so you, d- you didn't even do it for the for the plane, the draft. You just did it to get 5k. Yeah, because uh, m- money was... Fi- if you had 100k, you was rich. Really? All your friends are saying, we always used to say, hey, bro, give me 10k, please, and shit. If somebody packed somebody that was 50k, there's a place you're rich now, bro, just give me 10k. That's crazy. Bro, yeah, but they were like exploiting us really good. But that's, that's actually fun, though. Oh, uh, no. It was, ex- it was exploiting us really, 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 really. They were pimping on us, basically. Because you got no. The only way you made money was the, m- the coins you got after playing a game, which was like 300. Yeah. No way. Yeah, you get 350. And after playing two games, your squat comes, uh, your squat fitness went to 70%. You had to buy a card that gives your whole squat uh, fitness again so that you could play with them the next game. And that, w- that card was worth 1K. And in two games, you made 700 coins. That's why a lot of people had two teams. Because while the other team was resting, because if you don't play with a uh, with a player in, w- in a game, he rests up. Yeah. So we all all had two teams. So you could play. So you could keep rotating. Yeah. So you could at least save a couple of coins. But if you c- if you got like Messi, you can't just keep no, on playing him. No. But if you have Messi, why won't you just buy the the card, the rest token? Because it's still expensive. How much did it cost? One k. But you get like 300k per match. No, you get 300 coins. Oh yeah, you, just, you got 300 coins per match. 350 per, per match. And you you, need, you can play max two games before yeah. you need a squad fitness, which yeah. is 1k. And you only made 700. But isn't Messi at 70% better than... No. Really? Is, if you start Messi at 70%, when the first half is done, he's 50. He can do shit. Really? Yeah. 
So okay. uh, we all had two teams, and all our teams were maybe together 10, 15k. So. But why, why won't you just like play yeah. like two games of weekend league? And you had if you play two the games more games normal. you played with the with the, your player, you had to buy contracts too. Mm-hmm. And contracts were also contracts were a lot cheaper. They were two hundred for twenty eight games or something like that. But that shit stacks up. But can't you like play like two games of weekend league with your good team? Rage quit two matches of normal match and then go back to playing two matches of league weekend league with your good team. No, yeah, but the contracts on that one will go down. And you at the back at that time you would relegate to the to the div- division lower. Really? Yeah. You could really relegate really easy. It was it was like pro clubs. I don't know if you played pro clubs back yeah, in the yeah. day. You have certain amount of games in every uh, division, and you have to uh, meet meet the bar. And because you have so little rewards, you have to like perform well for divisions. I Bro, if you want division one, you got a kit as a reward. What's the kit? Kit, fucking that's, that's shirt. It, right? That was it. But why did why did divisions matter then? It doesn't matter, bro. So Just why do you care if you get relegated or not? <laughs> All your homies are not but in like division. Having, uh, but having like one team. Like the ultimate team that's ready to play the weekend league every single game is better than having two teams, right? Maybe we are just not that smart. I think we're just not that smart. I don't think I don't think we really thought about it. That's why I'm the manager, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the general manager. Now that you said, bro, why didn't we do it? That's 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 a crazy strat, right? We just had two mediocre teams instead of one good. Exactly. But we were just fucking stupid kids, bro. Then uh, I even remember once I thought I had I found a glitch. I used to buy Aiden. I had I had hundred k or something, and I could buy Aiden Hazard card, which was hundred k. Yeah. It was one of the best cards in the game, exactly. actually. Golden Aiden Hazard because you didn't, we didn't have twenty promos every month. Then I was I would buy him for hundred k, then I would so sell him for hundred five, then I would buy him again and those for hundred five. But it's like five percent EA tax. Yeah, so I was actually losing money. No, you would you would get the same exact amount of money. Yeah, but it wasn't always on one point five, uh, hundred five. Maybe sometimes I did one hundred three and shit. And I thought I found like literally a glitch. I was making money. Yeah. I was still and I was telling I my you friend. Couldn't buy it in Hazard no more. No, no. I told my friend, like, "Bro, are you stupid, bro? You're paying five percent tax." I didn't realize it. It's like fuck, bro. I lost maybe ten, twenty k now. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, man. Then I, that's the day I stopped trading. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, a uh, couple of years later, I started. But yeah, trading was also fun in FIFA. But now that I play on PC, it's uh, it's impossible. I only traded once. I, I bought like 20 Oshimans last yeah. year. And I sold them for like barely any profits. I was yeah. like, yeah. But this and then last game. year, I traded well, man. But yeah. But last year, the, the FIFA was, was pretty shit, man. Yeah. This g- I, I, I like this year better. But the only thing that I don't like is the skill moves. They made, uh, they added a lot of new skill moves and removed some that I really enjoyed. So that's the only thing that I uh, don't like. But everything else is all right. I barely played this year, man. Yeah. I quit the game because uh, I had such shit luck with the packs. I was like, nah, this is this is horrible. This is garbage. Yeah. And players were so expensive at the start for no reason. When the starts, they're always expensive. No, but like, certain players were really good. Other players were really, really bad. Yeah. And out of nowhere, like, players would tank like crazy. Yeah. Like, uh, Leal would be, like, 80k, and then one day he's, like, 10k, and then the day afterwards he goes back to 10, 80k. That was uh, with the Black uh, Friday shit and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then it happened, like, three times afterwards. Like, yeah. there were three, four market crashes. And it didn't make any sense to me, and I, I just quit then. Because yeah. I bought, like, guys for 80k, and wanted to sell the card. And for a week straight, it was like 14k. So I sold it for like 30k, and the, the day afterwards, it went yeah, back to 80k. It's always, the, bro, fuck the, shit, it's always the, day, the day after. And it just made me mad. Yeah. And I sold and I and I sold all my players, and I bought packs. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, 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 I didn't pack anything from it, and I deleted the game since then. But, uh, nah, man. You sometimes you clubs, man. I, I have it installed. It I'm was Ramadan, bro. It's we need to. We need to have a day to play it. I've been, I've been too invested in Elden Ring, man. No, I get it. Elden Ring with mods is so it's different. Yeah. You need, you need, we're almost actually no, we're not almost done, but the next playthrough is gonna be really fun. Cause right now we've like tested everything out. We know what everything is like, and you haven't even witnessed any of it like firsthand. Yeah. So I think that you would really enjoy the the mods of it. Yeah. Cause the the item randomizer is really fun. 
No, I get it. But the thing with me is now I'm in a state that I don't know if I will be able to commit to a game. For like a week? Yeah, for uh, if even a week is a little bit too much for me. Yeah, I can understand that. Especially, wait. especially if you like play with people, it is way harder because I don't have the choice no more, basically. Because l- we're like depending on each other. I think that's l- something that also like s- takes the fun away a little bit. Uh, what do you mean? Because we need to play always with each other to have the same experience. If I don't play it one day, you guys have made so much progress. No, but we, we won't be playing without you. That's what I mean. So then you guys are also depending on me. It's no, like one big. We can just play something else too. Triangle. Cause I th- I think it's not that deep. I think you're making it deeper than this. Because we could also just like have a different playthrough or whatever, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. we're just we're just getting ready for the DLC. To be honest. When is the DLC dropping? In June. Okay. Yeah. The uh, the thing for you is you joined in like us when we were already playing it. No, I didn't mind that. I didn't uh, mind. No, but you missed out on some of the stuff, and that was like not even the fully. That was like the base game, right? Yeah. But the actually the the, the mod is crazy because in the mod all the bosses are random too. Yeah. So like first bosses, like fucking. Actually, I, ju- I need to join you random. Yeah. I need to join you now. That's to make it crazy. fully random. That's fully random for you then. Yeah. But this is like the original that do I there are, are there some stuff that I first need to do on my own playthrough and then join you guys and then nah, you could directly join us. Okay. But you need levels. So we could help you level up. I don't, I don't mind. I'll be a cheerleader. That's, that, that's how I do. I'll be the guy with the big shield that just goes, ah <laughs> <laughs> nah, you could get some there's like some broken weapons. There's this weapon that Can you heal your teammates in? You can. Okay. If you if you drink your flask when we're in the like next to you, you, you heal us as well. This is a stupid glitch, but it's fun. No, it's not a glitch. It's a, it's a feature from the mod. Okay. Because the bosses are 60% uh, dif- more difficult, and you heal less. So instead of healing more on your own, if you want to heal more, you got to heal next to your teammates, and then you heal each other. Okay. That is uh, thoughtful. It's also strategic, because like, if you use one heal, it's going to heal for the half, right? Yeah. But if your teammates heal, like, if you both use one heal, you will both heal once, Yeah. like in the normal game. So... If you don't do it strategically, you healing once will not heal you like you heal once in the normal game. You will only heal half. Then the question. Yeah. If you was a was a person in a game like Elden Ring, what would be your weapon of choice? My weapon of choice? Like Souls game. A Souls game. Katana. I would go with a crossbow. Why crossbow? Crossbows are shit in the game. No, no, but... If, if you have a katana, suddenly you're not uh, going to do crazy moves. I think like oh, I would be a sorcerer. I would go with a crossbow, man. I would be. I a think sorcerer with a crossbow, you can do a lot of shit, sneaky and stuff. No need to fight. Are we going with the realistic shit, or are we yeah, going realistic, with the, like realistic. ah? Okay, I would be a sorcerer by far, by far, bro. Mm. I just do. I don't even have to aim. I just <laughs> do this, and then it's like it, it, it tracks people and shit. This is swords that come out in the air, come out of thin air that track people, bro. Home, home missile. Yeah. Home. What's it called? Homing, homing missile. Homing. Yeah. Yeah. I have a like, fucking beam that I can just like point anywhere. And if it, okay, it is like re- realistic, no great wild stuff, no sorcery, no crazy abilities, just a weapon. And one slash kills you. Like in real life. Let's say the world goes crazy, everybody's trying to kill each other. IRL. IRL. What's your weapon of choice? I would still go with a crossbow. I'll go with a sword. No guns allowed. No guns allowed. No, uh, no guns. Okay, no guns. No um, guns. I would go with a sword. Crossbow is basically a gun. Uh, I'm peeps. Yeah, but crossbow. Uh, crossbow is a good option, but only a crossbow. You're you're fragile in in short range. Yeah, but with a sword, you're fragile long distance, and that's what I win. Yeah. So you will never get close, basically. I'm not gonna fight you, bro. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe you're just walking. I think XP. Then I shoot you. Nah, that that wouldn't happen. Then you hear the. Because if you miss me once, I know that you're there. I'm just gonna. I should be at this too. I don't know, man. Maybe daggers. If you miss once, I can literally just run at you with a fucking giant ass sword and be yeah. like, "Yeah, bro, what you gonna do now?" I wouldn't go with a, a giant ass sword. The biggest would be a katana. I don't think a giant sword is smart. I think I would go. It's with hard it. to slash stuff. I would hit it, bro. I wouldn't slash. I'll just punch people with a sword. Oh, pierce it. No, just... Oh, smash. 
Det är så vilt. Ja. Om det går så just med the sword on my back. Yeah, I think crossbow first and then maybe second daggers. Daggers is I don't know. I would katana. Daggers is quick, man. I would go the the dagger that But goes like this. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Mm. That that actually kills. What are all the weapons? You have you have katanas, you have piercing swords, you have knives, you have you have like the the rapier. Pipe, iron pipe, iron pipe is also a good weapon. Baseball bat with spikes on it. Oh, that's really good. That's a really good weapon. That's a really good one. Actually, I might go. Hey, I need to go home. Bro, it's one. I'll, I'll drop you off at home. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think uh, we have to end it here. Yeah, because. Beep, 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 beep. And and on the next episode, we might have a, I might have a rapper. Okay. Not on the show. Oh yeah, or the as a as a rapper. Yeah, we will see, man. Hopefully. Tell us if you guys want a want a zero point slash consistently inconsistent rap song. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll we'll make it happen. On that note, <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna say shit. <laughs>